I should find a seat. Base. Oh, I love this, dude. I remember this when we went from Bellabog to the Lofu. This is nice. But March fell over last time. I really hope she falls over again. I'm sorry. Not in a toxic way, but it was hilarious and really caught me off guard. No, we're not going to get the whole quest finished today, but we're going to do as much as we can. Ahem. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. All passengers. That's me. One Express of them. Express is about to make the jump. Nice. Express is about to make the jump. Please be seated and hold on. March, hold on. Before we get too much into the video, I want to say a huge thank you to Black Clover Mobile for sponsoring. If you haven't seen this game yet, you're about to be very surprised. In Black Clover Mobile, Rise of the Wizard King, Black Aster, you'll embark on an epic journey with the limited time summon for the SSR character Black Aster. Unleash the power of darkness as you summon this extraordinary hero to join your team, but that's not all. Starting from February 12th, you can log in and claim 10 wishes for free, but they only last for two weeks, so you gotta get on it quick. Temples is always good, so don't let it slip away. In season four begins a costume party where you can meet dazzling new SSR characters like Noelle and Charmy with adorable little devil and pumpkin costumes. And you can complete special missions and also unlock the chance to choose three limited characters from the Gateway of Reunion. There's also the new Cherry Blossom Petal missions with exciting activities where you can embark on thrilling missions to clear obstacles and collect Cherry Blossom Petals to exchange for fantastic rewards. And maybe even craft a special lunchbox. Don't miss out on that as well as the spring picnic event to send a heartfelt lunchbox to your mages, and in return receive magical gifts. Let the spring magic unfold as you clear missions, create delightful meals, and exchange gifts with mystical mages. Download the game using the links in the description below, and log in now to receive 10 free summons, and a chance to draw the SSR Black Aster. Everyone say hi, chat. Train is about to make the jump. Five, oh, oh. four, oh, oh, oh. three, Oh, God. Wait, he, they did say, like, take any distorted memories. Wait, already? Wait, that's one of the dream bath things that we saw in the trailer. Already? We're not even off the ship yet. <laughs> not another one. Oh, my God, you luck. Come with me. So good. <laughs> Where are we going? These questions have no meaning. Yeah, they do. But I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone. A dreamscape. Right huh. this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. Interesting. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. Worry not. For very quickly, you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. I see. So, come with me. Dude. I'll take you home. I love the thing on the back of her head, too. Oh, my God. Her design's amazing. It's really, really good. I do like it. I like it a lot. Left. To the end of the corridor. No, I'm gonna go right. I will wait there for you. Okay. You might wait in a while. I love how everything's floating, too. I also love the hat on the fireplace. I think it's kind of hilarious. Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. This room's smaller than I thought. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm not going that way. I'm not there. I not. Turn back. No. Stop backseating me. I want to go this way. Oh, it's so pretty, dude. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. Galaxy Ranger. You can call me whatever you want. Open this door. Mother? Take a look at the mesmerizing I dreamscape. Kidding. Well, you can still remember. Oh my god. This Hold. is... No way. This way. I'm coming. After oh. you. Am I supposed to walk? How is this even possible? <laughs> that's that's insane, not? dude. I like this. She can hear the thoughts in my head? Oh my god. Why not? <laughs> We're almost there. Can you still walk? Yeah. <gasps> Sunday and whatever her name is. Now I am become Trailblaze, the perambulator of walls. You're funny. 
If you can crack jokes, you're probably fine. I am quite funny. Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. I thought that was or Sam for a second. Up, for that matter. Why? I want to. Well, I guess up is down, right? Hit Silver. Wait, it is. How do you intend to pull them off the stage? All we have to do is present the truth, and they will naturally reciprocate. Oh, interesting. These voices. They are just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. No, I will. I will the pay heed. The Harmony Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. But if I can't sing, what meaning does a stage have? Did we hear Sunday's voice before? That's not how I expected him to sound. Interesting. Oh, let's hear, uh... Adventuring. Ah, the charming audacity to think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. <sighs> Three chips are enough. All or nothing. Interesting. Okay, okay. Dude, there's so many characters here. Holy shit. Oh. Memo Keeper, do you think you can just leave? I'm sorry. The dance partner of my choice, I've already chosen. Damn, okay. Bro, I did not expect to see like <laughs> every new character here, or pretty much every new character. I, I, I don't want to miss anybody, but I think that's, I think that's everybody. Uh oh my god, I love that. Oh, that's so sick. Uh We're here. That's so cool. I love that kind of Welcome stuff. Welcome to the Reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> Hi, Misha. If you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Okay. Leave this realm. No. And rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. I, but I. But before you do, oh. I would make a request of you. I'm all ears. Since I barely speak, but I do sometimes, which is better than never. You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Okay. Have we met somewhere before? Why? Why is that red? What do you mean? You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, she stood shoulder to shoulder with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close, yet forever out of reach. May I ask you a few more questions? It I tend to forget things, which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. Interesting. Okay, the only thing that I can really think of there with any prior knowledge would be from Honkai Impact 3rd, but I don't know if they'd, I guess, like, cross over this quickly. I don't know. Maybe, maybe like, uh, Rider May and Kiana. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? Hmm. Mm. If it means losing them, I would. Hmm. If there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? Nah, absolutely not. I would never want to live in a dream. No. No. Imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. 
<sighs> friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. Uh, if you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, yeah, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? Yeah, I would. I wouldn't say without hesitation, but I still would. Because I'd want to see if it actually plays out the same way or if I could change it. I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard-pressed to make a decision. Hmm. As I've said, the answer is inconsequential. Hearing, touch, thought. Through these, you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. Oh, that's and cool. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? I seem to remember you from somewhere. <laughs> I understand. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. That was my final question. Thank you. Interesting. We all have our paths to walk. So we shall bid our farewells. What the hell? Uh, you haven't told me how to leave this place. How do I go? Wake up, do I pinch the myself? Golden dream is getting restless. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. Chess? But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. Yeah. Oh. What you must do now is ponder its significance. That's a cool ass weapon, dude. And then you can return to the waking world. <laughs> she crying. Oh, I just got That's where we'll find our answers. <sighs> what the hell? <sighs> huh. What's wrong? Why are you crying all of a sudden? Uh, I may have dreamed of an old friend. Sounds like you had a nightmare. We just arrived in Astana and already... Uh, you should be careful. It seems your tolerance to Memoria isn't the strongest. Clearly. Don't fret. Dreams are often the reverse of reality. While you were sleeping, the Express arrived at Pataconi. Can you imagine? Yesterday's grim frontier prison is today's lavish hotel. Wish I could wander Penaconi streets today, but I'm pretty train tied at the moment. You'll have to be my eyes and ears while we're here. I'm down. Gear up and make sure you've got everything. And before you step out, swing by the back and grab March. She's waiting for you there. Okay. Is March 7th still packing <sighs> her luggage? Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> I dude, that's really interesting. That was a fucking cool ass intro. Yeah, the devs did say it was going to be chill and wholesome, but didn't they also say the same thing about Honkai about third? And then, well, we saw what happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You're up. How's your prep going? Walt and he make beat us to the punch, but I stuck around for you. Oh my god! Let's get going. Mm, shall we go meet up with them now? I'm ready to go. Anaconi, the planet of festivities, the universe's biggest and fanciest amusement park awaits. That's, uh, that's how you do an intro to a story, dude. Hopefully the rest of it keeps up pace. Oh god, this place looks so fucking cool. It looks so cool. Okay. We're here at last! 
Ah, the family sure doesn't play around with their entry protocols. They do not. The bags probably know what it feels like to be a celebrity now with all that attention. <laughs> I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. True. Thankfully they didn't. The Stellaron is stable. Uh, aside from that, I have to say the family has been really accommodating. Well, the hassle was worth it. Just look at this grand hotel lobby! And those endless rows! They're all rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here! Dude, I still feel like this... <laughs> We're Hold on. We're our rooms! But come on! Mr. Yang and the rest must be at the front desk! Let's hurry up and meet them there! Bro, this whole concept of, like, living in a dream world inside a hotel is... So... I know people are down for it, but it, it feels so dystopian, dude. Oh, so dystopian. Like, I, I, even though it looks really pretty, I don't get a good vibe at all. Welcome to the Reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Mm-hmm. I finished my tea. It's the child from the dream. Do you work at this hotel? I'm Misha, a bellboy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage... Uh, over here. Something's not right. Already? Should you need assistance with moving <laughs> luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please, go ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. Oh no, dude. Yeah, the eyes have a keyhole pupil. It's actually pretty cool. Welcome to the reverie. May you have an unforgettable holiday. Okay. May you have a... Thanks, Misha. Hey, what's the big gathering at the concierge about? Maybe they oh, just arrived and there's already drama. Maybe they know him echo or something. I don't. You should say trailblazers have been sorry, here before. But your name really isn't in the system. Oh. But in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please check again for me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express for platinum guest rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, yeah, Miss I... Kimiko, Miss March 7th, and Mr. Don Hung. These are the only four names oh, on the reservation list. I'm not on the list. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I'm Mr. Don Hung, reporting for duty. Don Hung. I, I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, she hadn't even arrived on the express. And Don Hung's not here. Uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule, and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. She's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. Oh god, please say yes. We can vouch for her status. <laughs> this is giving me short-term PTSD. Not PTSD, but I, I had an issue literally this past like couple of days uh, with... A hol a potent well, a, a, a holiday that I'm going to be going on with Viv later in the year, but we needed to do name change stuff, and they refused. <laughs> Straight up refused. Please just say yes. I, even if that is oh, so, no. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm reliving it in a game now. I'll show the lines. No, I'm not doubting your status. It's just. No, I'm threatening you. Do it. I <laughs> well, it's just that right now, we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival, Panagoni's most important moment of every era. And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Thronged? Well, hotel security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last-minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express, please do not make it harder for her. Interesting. We are sorry for all the trouble he does our sound pretty fruity. seems to have caused. I like the VA though. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble aventurine of the IPC Strategic oh, Investment Department. It's aventurine, not adventurine. A non-performing <laughs> asset liquidation specialist stone, and subordinate obviously. to Supervisor Dunmond. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker. Watchmaker? <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Stop putting a D in adventurine. Listen, don't project what you would like to do on me, okay? Come on now. <clears throat> Leave it to me. Oh, hell yeah. 
I've heard that the IPC has also received Penacone's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. Mm. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us? I, I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? Wait, why would you be saying that to us? I've been waiting here for more than 10 minutes. Do you know how many credits 10 minutes is worth to me? Ugh. It must be an inordinate number, which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, Ugh. I have an investment that you absolutely cannot miss out on. Oh, I... The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their <clears throat> word wields the utmost authority. I hate that. <laughs> we hope to borrow your status to vouch for her. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? Uh... Oh no, he's a Karen? Nah, dude, it's not even a Karen. I don't get Karen vibes at all. This is like, uh... I'm rich and I'm gonna let you know at every convenience that I'm rich and I'm better than you and anything that you do or anything that I do for you requires a mutual beneficial reason for me to do it so that I profit off of it. I hate people now like this that. this is a topic very much worth getting oh. into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Penacone before getting to know each other more elaborately? True. <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that if I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort, <laughs> not a favor from you all. See? <laughs> what else do you fucking want, Aventurine? But, what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends. Especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Of course. Going forward on this Pentagony trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. I'm glad you've put it this way. So about the vouching... I don't like him, but I like the fact that I don't like him. It means the character's well-written and well-acted. <laughs> there you go, miss. <laughs> Please allow her to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. Oh. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Can I? Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. Can I? Can we sw can Um, but... But... Ali, oh. just a moment. Well, hello there. The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil. Look who's here. It's Sunday, the most handsome man in Pentacony. Not wrong. Along with a singer renowned across the universe, Robin. Not wrong at all. As I said in the live stream when we first saw him chat, this is Sunday, I'm Monday, because good guys come after. He said you were the most dashing person in Pentacony. How interesting. I mean, it's true. It is very, very true. At least so far. I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Astral Express guests, please come this way and rest your feet. Hello, friend. How have you been? I, I sincerely hope you don't mind. It's been two and a half minutes. I do mind. My apologies for any perceived slight. <laughs> to show my sincerity, I offer you 10,000 credits as a gesture of goodwill. I accept. That's better. <laughs> what are friends without friction? Now, we're truly acquainted. Please excuse me, I have some matters to attend to. So I must depart, but I'm sure we'll meet again soon. God, your voice is annoying me. Soon. <laughs> Hello, Robin. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, but are you... I never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. Oh. oh, it really is, Robin. To run into her in person here. 
It is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Penacone like him? Yes, obviously. <laughs> Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. Penacone is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penacone. He is also the organizer of this era's Charmony Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties and sent me here to provide aid. I really like the voice, but it sounds kind of muffled. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. It, it does sound kind of... Uh... I don't know. The voice suits her, but, but something about it sounds off. Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. <sighs> Please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Allie to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. Thank you. Appreciate it, Mr. Sunday. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Hell yeah. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please, rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, relieve you of any problems during your visit in Penacone. The actual administrators, huh? I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Penacone, the family stands ready to serve. May your dreams be beautiful and pleasant. Oh, it's just I wanna... one surprise <laughs> after another. But since that Mr... Which day was he? The Sunday. Since Mr. Sunday's vouched for us, I guess we can finally check in normally? Wouldn't it be funny if March 7th was a Sunday? And we're just gonna like fill up an entire fucking calendar by the end of the game. I wanna. This sounds really weird, but I, like, if if I was there, I'd wanna at least like shake her hand or something to make sure she's not like a hologram or some shit. The voice sounds like uh, uh, like it's projected. It doesn't sound like uh, usually when a voice sounds off, it's usually like the S's, right? Like uh, who was it in, in Genshin when the when the voice sounded off and it was like uh, the S's were very very essy uh, or like a, a little bit reverby or something like usually you can tell if it's an issue this doesn't sound like an issue this just sounds like wrong <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> hope we don't run into any more trouble how does the saying go trouble comes in pairs oh god <laughs> there's also the saying from misfortune comes bliss okay there's no cue in the lobby now let's go find miss ally okay base all right i need to sneeze oh no intentional is one word for it but I was trying to describe the actual. Oh, it's the little fucking Moogle kid! <laughs> That's so funny to me, dude. I will never not see them as Moogles. I'm sorry. I never will. That's hilarious. Esteemed guests of the Astral Express, your check in procedure is complete. Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. This is your Dreamscape Pass, it serves as your hotel room key, as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. It even provides smart assistance. At the same time, it looks cursed. It is also Penacone's special, one-of-a-kind souvenir that belongs only to you. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock-in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dream. Save your favorite happy bits and create a Dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. Regarding the method of usage, the Dreamscape Pass will guide you through the process. Okay. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penacone. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest room. Dude, everything is so beautiful here. All right, let's move out. Autobots roll out. Nice, we'll take that. Oh, the International International Peace Corporation is uh, heavily guarding this area. It looks like, isn't We're it? We're finally here. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Indeed. Well, doodly. how about a drink first? Penacone's Soul Glad is very famous. Oh yeah, I want to see Go what that on. tastes like. 
We may be thinking of the same thing. Do you remember the invite that the Express received? Uh, the family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Benaconi to participate in our grand celebration. Hmm. That's why we're here in the first place. Yes. You recall correctly, but there was more to this invite. Like what? Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams, find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? What did you do, spill tea on it to reveal it? I'm confused. This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. But the box that was sent to us was slightly... unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. Oh. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the Express made its warp jump. Also, the Express Engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. What the fuck? A distress call method regularly used by the Nameless. Smart. I can't be certain. It may be a masked fool's trap. From the oh. execution itself, the Riddlers or Inquisition spirits could have done this themselves. That's a very good point. When did you discover this? When we were handling that Law Fu Stellaron matter. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. All the way back then? It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. Interesting. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators yes. of Penacone. He did Sunday. It was their duty to relieve us of any problems. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Oh! Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Oh, it was intentional. Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? It's possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual. And your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. Oh. This event is becoming more interesting with each passing second. Just take a drink. <laughs> Why didn't you tell the others? Oh, well, until now. You shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penacone or the family. Hmm. But you said so yourself. This could concern the Trailblaze. We also um, have ears. I did. Which is why, before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. But why am I the last to find out? <laughs> so I was the only one kept in the dark then. No, me too. Don't worry. Uh, I too just found out about the invite thingy. That's because you were zonked out the whole ride. I was... No one had the chance to tell you. Dreaming about Acheron. Who sent the invite? What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Penacony? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? Uh, there are too many unanswered questions. There really are. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Penacony is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. True. Not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. Head back to hmm. your rooms, get some rest, and prepare to enter the dreamscape. It's time to head back to my room. I guess. Before entering the dream, I should probably talk to the rest. Hope you're enjoying the update. It's really good so far. I'm not too deep into it yet, I feel like, but uh, I am really enjoying it so far. I... <laughs> 
What? You good? God. Why is my room door open? I don't know, but is that Madame Ping? Hmm. Seems the older I get, the harder it is to fall asleep. Yeah, I think it is. Why are you in my room? How Fuck off. Fortuitous. No, not at all. Get out. We meet again. Leave. Uh... I kind of want to say this because I feel like she's being fucking sarcastic. I, don't, I feel like that's sarcasm. We meet again, friend. I feel like it's sarcasm. <laughs> that's right, pal. Oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> Calm I down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. What sarcasm? This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. Mm. And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well, friend. Thanks. Oh, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Get out of my room. I want to sleep. Oh, I'm not sure I like that tone. I don't give a fuck what you like, you little bitch. It's my room. Panacone's a true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the reverie? I don't care what you have to say. Get out of my room. I want to go to sleep. Think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? So sit down and let's have a chat. No. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? You should go to the well, oh Himiko. To be honest. Wrong. You're the one I see. Well, you're the one I want to fucking get rid of. Leave. Well, simply put, my friend, I need your help. Okay. You may or may not know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. I got it. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that no. belong to them in no. the first place. Absolutely not. If you agree, no. when this is done... You will stand to reap great rewards, as well as the preservation's protection. Well, wait, do I already have preservation trailblazer though? It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. You possess a distinct quality, so magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it. Or... You don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? I'll use it to fucking etch my name on your colon after I insert the land so far up your ass! The power that, that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. Miss Stellaron, have I hit the nail on the head? I'm warning you, you need to leave now. Listen. I'm tired, and you won't like me when I'm tired. You Warning me? <laughs> oh, you're too funny. You don't have to answer me now. Sit on it for a while. When the time is right, I will look for you again. Listen, there's a chest right there that's calling my goddamn name. Of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well. Or go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion. Because it will also show me your true value. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. Told you, I knew it. So I hope I that it. friends don't let me down. I knew he was that kind of person. You should really get going. I already said there's no rush to give me an answer. Well, there's no rush to keep yapping. Because no matter what happens, the outcome will remain the same. Will it now? It's not like you're on like American oh, yes. television. Before I go, let's play another game. Okay, heads or tails. Tails, you fuck off. Heads, you get leave. Get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality and the way you do things. 
Fins. Ding! A chip is caught, tossed into the air and in the blink of an eye it disappears with place like two flinch fists. Oh, okay. Left or right? Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. No? I didn't get your answer. Oh, but that's fine because... There is no chip. Friend. The game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. Okay. One you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise. I have the chip. And no other choice. Hello there. Huh? Nice. Oh. What are you doing in my room? Your room? Bitch. Your room? <sighs> this is our room. Well played, friend. You haven't been in Penacony long, but you already know how to rope people into your cause. Oh, don't misunderstand. That was a mere reminder. This place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. I can tell. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Well, gosh, thank you like, for the resub. Keeping your door closed. Yeah, well, you <laughs> left it open. I'll make my exit now. Oh my god, you smarmy Have motherfucker. A Get out of our room! <laughs> Have we met somewhere? <laughs> Why haven't you left? What do you- it, it, this is my room! This is my room. No, it- <laughs> <laughs> I was just teasing. Please forgive me. Uh, this is indeed your room. I saw that man <sighs> snooping about while I was in the hallway. Based. Didn't seem like he was searching for his own room. Oh. So it made me wary. What a good friend. What a good friend. I love you. Um, wh yeah, why Why are you turning evil all of a sudden? Or uh, fucking right at me? Huh? I later saw you walking into the same room, so I began to connect the dots. The situation got a bit tense. I hope you don't mind that I pulled this stunt. I don't, actually. It was kind of funny. I have a strange feeling about you, though. Anyway, as long as you're all right. I should return to my room, too. Where's your room? But before I go, can I ask you a question? Sure. You may think it somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. Of course. Again. I wish to know. Yeah, sure. Have we met somewhere before? <sighs> I was about to ask too. Is that so? Yeah. I haven't been able to shake off this familiar feeling since just now. Maybe this is what they call deja vu. <laughs> Maybe. Or it could purely be serendipity. This is your name, isn't it? Yeah, my name's Brian Online. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you too, again. Um, do you still remember me? <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. Oh. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. I know. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. Funny you should say that. Lastly, a gentle reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death, and they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. Oh, I don't like that. One who wears a blade must use it to cut eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. Damn. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. It's okay, Acheron. I already made my choice. Fuck that guy. Acheron left. Strange. I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm? What now? Mm. Hey, have we met? <laughs> Didn't take long for a reunion. Mm. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? All these hallways really look the same to me. That way. You show Akra on the way, she thanks you again and again. Seems like it's over. Time to work the dream pool according to the dreamscape passes instructions. You curl your body, lying down in the center of the dream pool. The icy liquid rises above your waist. The gentle female voice continues to whisper in your ear, accompanied by the tolling of evening bells. ASMR based. The wild wind rustles through the barren plains, while nightingales, seagulls, swans, and ravens add their symphony to the choir. Pendulum swings. Ding dong. You wonder what your dream, what dream you'll delve into and slowly drift into drowsiness. 
Dude, I wish Genshin did this more with like the, the cutscenes all the time. Oh god, that's so pretty too. Please relax. Feel the ebb and flow of your body. <laughs> Just focus on breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine a dreamland. Skuck. Mikhail. That was... Oh my god. Is that Robin? I thought it was Sunday. The chest! Uh, what is it, Ratio? Why are you Why here? the long face? Hey, I just realized. Where's that handsome bust of yours? You're late. By four minutes and 16 seconds. You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Ooh. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. Akavili's fall, huh? <laughs> You mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? Clamorous people do not make friends. Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. <laughs> it seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. <laughs> The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Get ratioed. <laughs> yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Where are you going? Away from you, probably. Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything. I swear, he sounds like Sea Dog. Oh, he nothing does. Nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sigonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. Or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the Amber Lord? Ooh, interesting. <laughs> you're funny, I'll give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. It's my job. <laughs> How would a gambler wrest Penacone back from the IPC otherwise? Frontier prison. <laughs> Don't worry, Doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. More to play devil's advocate. Perhaps Penacone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. Red hair. Oh, yeah, red hair. Red herring. Or maybe they're thinking of pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. Mm. Or someone else made the invite, and they acquiesced to elevating the magnitude of the plan. <laughs> well, regardless, be it the family or the watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. You're so suspicious. Get to the point. What's your plan? <laughs> well, no need to expand on that now. It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. And he's a trump supporter. <laughs> Damned gambler. Any true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sigonian upbringing? <laughs> then... Do you trust me? Oh no! That depends on you. Hmm, so you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't <laughs> teach me any of that. Can tell. A pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. Can tell, because I feel like the thing school is most useful for is teaching you about how to interact socially, and uh, honestly, Aventurian, I feel like that's what you're fucking lacking. Maybe you should have gone to fucking school. <sighs> I did not mean to offend. I did. None taken. But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Avgens. Interesting. Even under the watchful eye of the Harmony, our friends' performances have far exceeded my expectations. Let's see. The Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. The Annihilation Gang, I can't really count on them. Hmm. The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer, 
And as for the bunch at the tavern... Knights of beauty, huh? Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a galaxy ranger. The whole conversation felt off. Help me look into her... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? Well, seems like I'm on my own again. Thank God. Oh. <laughs> All you're feeling so sorry for him? Why? The dreamscape? The atmosphere here creeps me out. And Same, but it's so What was that pretty. weird noise just now? It was fucking adventuring, yapping. The dreamscape hotel under construction. Please receive instructions from the host service. Ask and enter the through the designated. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, note? Oh. The impossible can also happen in dreams. Find it and you shall be granted an audience. Watchmaker's advice. This way. What the can fuck? Can you see me? Over here. Misha, what the hell, Please, dude? Come I'm trying. I will in a minute. Give me anything. Stop fucking back seeing me. The door appears unopenable from this side. It's already open, bro. Just, you can, you can probably squeeze. Like, if you go sideways, like, you could, you could easily just suck your belly in a little bit. You could fucking easy fit through there. Easily. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Let's go in the dreamscape. Ah, you're here. Wonderful. Oh my. Oh, I, I thought you wouldn't notice me. No, you were loud enough. Holy, dude, this is very pretty. Welcome to the Gallery of Thoughts. You can think of this as the entrance to the Golden Hour. I'm here to provide guidance to our guests. Uh, this place looks weird. This is a temporary interchange, so it looks a little rundown. Rundown. The reverie in the dreamscape is currently undergoing a revamp. Not what I'd have said. I apologize for any unpleasantness in your stay. But if you enter the golden hour, I'm sure all your troubles will dissipate in an instant. Uh, how do I get to the golden hour? You just go right through that door oh, to reach no. golden hour. Those options were I different. I wish you an unforgettable dream. Shit. Can I still right ask? Right through that doorway is Golden Hour. If you've any. Okay, what happened to the Reverie? You're asking about the Reverie in the Dreamscape, right? I'm not sure exactly either. I'm sorry. Hmm. What is Golden Hour? You've other than a song. read about it in your Dreamscape past, but I can explain it one more time. Please do. Golden Hour is one of the twelve Dreamscapes in Penacony, and its time coincides with midnight. Here, the dream's time is forever stuck in the moment before midnight. Tomorrow will not come, and this night of revelry will never end. Sounds terrifying. Uh, but that doesn't mean that time is stopped in the dream. To avoid any physical or mental burden on guests, time in the dream has been synced with realities. So don't worry. I, I hate the sound of this. Nothing else, thank you. I wish you unfor- Bye, Misha. Uh, yeah, I don't know about Behind that, dude. This door is the real Penacony. I'm looking forward to it. I'm kind of not. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I'm expecting cutscene, hopefully. But, uh, I'm a little bit nervous. It's giving Sumeru some sorrow, and I'm not here for it. I mean, true, it kind of. Oh, shit. Okay. <gasps> yeah, we die here, surely. <laughs> Do we have a parachute? We're in a dream, can we just imagine a parachute? Oh sh- <laughs> We just got goku <laughs> My buddies! Are you alright? Yeah! It didn't hurt at all. Are we in heaven or? <laughs> there is nothing to worry about. You've arrived at the dreamscape. Yeah, seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. That's normal? Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. Robin, please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to me. Oh, that did sound weird. 
Uh, Robert gives a slight nod to her brother, then locks her emerald gaze with yours. She smiles and you see ripples shimmering at the depths of her lake green eyes, followed by a mighty vortex emerging from the depths of the pool. Your vision dims as your body dissolves, becoming one with the fluidity of the time space. You resonate and become attuned to the serene fusion of frequencies, your heart drums leading this symphony. Don't worry. Just relax. You'll be feeling like your normal self in no time. Inhale. They chant, instinct compels, and the stagnant fluid in your chest begins- Wait, a gentle warmth emanates from within. Uh, saturate in every inch of your being, your melodies slow down, fade away like a lullaby. A seven-colored illusion delicately caresses the top of your head and closes your eyes. Its movements tender and compassionate. You feel contentment and drift into a deep slumber. You open your eyes and feel a vitality like no other. The difficulty you were experiencing a moment earlier feels like a distant memory. You should be feeling fully in control now. <laughs> Welcome to Penacony. What does that mean? What did you just do? Did you just brainwash me? I merely changed your state of mind for you to feel more at ease. So yes, you- <laughs> Relax. Just did some tuning on you with the resonance of the harmony to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. Yeah, so brainwash. Essentially. The dream of Panacone is a world formed by Memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. Someone just beeped. It's oh, that's like a bell. learning to swim. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water. But once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. This is deep. Indeed. But still... We don't really have an in-depth understanding of the Memoria. Unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection. I'm not. It can be difficult at first to manipulate the Memoria as you wish. But once you've been tuned by the Harmony, you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world works. Oh. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. I just can't seem to shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. <laughs> oh, come on. Jesus Christ. Him. He's always like that. Please, enjoy the beautiful dreamscape the family has built for everyone. We shall take our leave. Have a blast. Thanks. Can I, like, fire myself out of a cannon or some shit? I, 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 I try so much stuff, dude. Uh, you there yet? I'm there now. Uh, yay. I just got in touch with Himeko and Mr. Yang. They all went to different dreamscapes. I'm at the moment of dusk. I'm planning to check out the auction. It's going to be a pain to meet up again, so why don't we split up for now? Yeah, let's split up and look for clues. You're at the golden hour? I heard the dreamscape sales store there is super famous. Can you please check it out for me? Pretty please? If it's really fun, I'll head over there next. Trailblazers from the Astral Experience. Oh. Welcome to Dreamscape Sales. I don't like that the voice. How do you know who I am? It's the magic of psychoanalysis, madam. <laughs> Dr. Edward is happy to assist you. Here's where you'll get to experience all sorts of fascinating dreamscapes. From the top-notch productions of Clark Studios to uh, private donations. <laughs> we have oh. it all. If I'm not mistaken, this is your first visit to Pentacle. Isn't it? Yes. Please be rest assured that Dr. Edward will provide the best service you can find in helping you purchase your first dreamscape and indulge in an exclusive and marvelous dreamland journey. I hate how dystopian if this I feels. Analysis, I'm sure you'll be a fan of this dream map. It's a contribution from an anonymous donor. Okay. Said to contain the memory of the fallen Eon Nakifili. I can assure you that this dream bubble is perfect for you. Uh, is this the memory of Akavili? Dr. Edward does not make any guarantees regarding the authenticity of dream bubble content. Dreams are just dreams. So enjoy them. Well, let's begin. Bro, what the fuck is this? Please close your eyes. Rest your forehead against the dream bubble. Doof. Touch the dream bubble. With your head. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? To what, Pom Pom? Am I Akavili now? 
I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memories. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. Oh. If any details are missing from the dream bubble, your subconscious will make up for it by substituting the missing content with something similar. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Give this place a thorough cleaning. I'm listening. Do I have to do the voiceover for I can believe myself? <laughs> In my apartment. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. Perhaps even the memorial is unable to yeah. transmit the voice of Akira. Yeah, real main character vibes. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. But meaning you can choose anyone's voice for Akira. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with, I'll be able to replicate it in your subconscious. Mm, anyone's voice will do? Well, it must be someone you're close to. Unless you're willing to accept a very unpleasant listening experience. Well, please, make a decision. Uh, <laughs> let's do Bob. Well, let me see who else. If I come up, myself, of course. Myself a different gender, of course. Oh, that's interesting. We could get the, the male trailblazer voice, I guess. That could be really cool. I kind of want to do Pom Pom, though. Oh, I kind of want to do Pom Pom, but I, 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 I want to do this as well. I'm gonna do pom pom. Splendid! <laughs> I'm rendering it as we speak. The replication is complete. Okay, go. You, as well as the other passengers, take responsibility for the following malicious conduct. You rode snowmobiles into the Tykian Stadium and disrupted the match, <laughs> causing the match to be suspended. Oh, God. Because of you. 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. Damn. You plead guilty to this charge? Yes, <laughs> I plead guilty. You sneaked into the high zoo and splurged half an Amber Era's crew budget on 250 nose walker cubs. <laughs> you kept them in the restroom where they were left to breed and multiply uncontrollably, uh -huh. causing other carriages to be filled with sewage. Do you plead guilty to this charge? Yes, I plead guilty. <laughs> then you barged into the kitchen of yeah. the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed disinfection. This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy, crumbly pom -pom pies. And because you also took the last serving of the express special in the fridge, uh -huh. I was left starving. Do you plead guilty to this charge? The first one is clearly a result of your own doing. But I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express special. <laughs> the voice. Ahem. Don't get carried away just yet. This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses. There are cases of entire entries oh my disappearing God. from the express Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glad. Huh? Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise. And a break in to the conductor's exclusive snack vault. Did soul glad really exist in that era? My <laughs> By order of the Alfonso family, delicious, first quenching soul glad is the only brand of beverage permitted to appear. Oh. In the they're sponsored by so that makes more sense now. And that's not even half the list. There are a total of 46 cases of malicious conduct. Do you admit to being the culprit in every case? Uh, sorry. I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. No, <gasps> you are not. What the hell? Could there be anyone worse than me? Of course there is. Train into two pieces. <laughs> what if that was I can really do? I. <laughs> That's all for the content of this dream bubble. How was your experience? What do all these have to do with I can really? 
this string ripple aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. If you're interested in experiencing the dream bubble again, you can purchase it with credits. Nah, I'm good. So that first dream bubble, so for free, was just a sales pitch, huh? This dream bubble is indeed pricey. Still, please give it some consideration. Now we don't get enough credits as is. Are you going to buy it? No, way too expensive. Please come again. Oh, but as this is your first time using the dream bubble, a sticker. A sticker for you. I love stickers. You can use it to decorate your dreamscape past and commemorate your unique trip to Tanakoni. Nice. I heckin' love I stickers, was dude. I hoping find some clues about the nameless up here. Well, can't expect it to be that easy. No. God damn it. What's all the commotion about? <gasps> it's her! Don't even think about running away. You stole away. Don't even think about it. Firefly, yeah. Oh no. I'm the trailblazer. Hello. Hi. S sorry for bothering you. Please. I need your help. What's up? I, uh, I'll do my best to protect you, young lady. Hey, look. She has an accomplice. Stand back. Uh, good work. Now we can nab them both in one go. We're really fighting you guys? Uh... Oh, Jesus. You have answers. Well, time to die. Oh my god, it's nearly been an hour since ads again already, dude. That's insane. That's enough, boys. Oh god. It's you, Gallagher! Nice baby beard. Uh, sir, sir, what's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? I don't know. Huh? Who, who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Don't. <laughs> look at his brown hair and grey vest. Uh, he's the officer. Sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. Don't you know him? British? Uh, now that's Australian. Sir, the thing is, that's not British we're yet. We're trying to apprehend a stowaway, and that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? Oh God. The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? No. Nope. She's our guest. Well, Absolutely not. Just get out of my way and I'll take care of this. Yes, yes sir. <laughs> Fifth, what is it? Is that a new emo or is that an old one? I don't even know. God. Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. I'm it's Gallagher, okay, Gallagher. From the Bloodhound family. And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. That's okay. Uh, who's the silver hair guy? Are they looking for Sunday, maybe? The Bloodhound family are guards of the Dreamscape. We're in charge of security no, here. No, Our be. duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Okay. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. <sighs> Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? <gasps> Thanks. Hmm. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. Interesting. <gasps> what is your deal? I owe you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. Mmm, galactic baseballer at your service. <laughs> You're funny. By the way, I've just noticed. <laughs> You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacony? Uh, how do you know? Curious. You have the Astral Express badge on you. I saw it on the big screen once. I also know that you guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. 
Did the family invite you here? I I'd be happy to show you around. Although the bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. Nice. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> Maybe. Don't you have work today? Well, I'm not booked for any performances. And most visitors to Pentaconi don't need tour guides anyway. They're all big shots who have their own entourage with them. Mm, you have a job now. <laughs> Thanks. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Over here. Where are we going? It's not a bad idea to get to know about this place. The first stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the Dreamscape is the OT Mall. Ooh, the Dreamscape this is the mall. sales stores here is super famous. There are also stores that sell luxury goods, apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything you fancy. Nice. Items purchased in the Dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. You can come back for them next time. I'm Just down. outside the mall is the plaza. Follow me. I'll buy you a nice meal. Nice. I'll take a meal, dude. Hell yeah. You follow me, actually. I'm hungry as shit. Oh! The technique things are so glad bottles. That's pretty cool. A kid's meal. We're here. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, In a dream, hunger is the most precious spice. Well, you can find all kinds of not. local delicacies here. Clocky pizza, oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic Soul Glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today, it's my treat. Interesting. I mean, I'm down. Uh, I should warn you, I do have very expensive tastes. That shouldn't be a problem. I have some savings left. She's so cute. It was a joke. Firefly's budget, 20k. I kind of want the pizza. I'm in a pizza mood, but do I get the dreamy cone, the three flip? No, I'm going to get the pizza. I want the pizza. And I want the ice cream. When you cut off pizza without fries. And a drink. And an extra dessert. And then tomorrow's lunch too. I... I This is... I... everything. Are you done ordering? <sighs> you... you have great taste. I... <laughs> I I'll get the bill. <laughs> mm. Now, let's go this way. Now, if this is me in real life, I would have covered it. I'm not that mean. I'm not that mean. But I just want to see what she's saying. Give him a kid's meal. <laughs> Shut up, Moogles. What the hell? This is the luxury store I told you about earlier. Nice. Wait, if I just heard something. Going, we'll reach Fuck off. Avenue, which is the road to Golden Hour. Fuck off. Go away. Go away. Go away from me. Okay, nice. Have you fallen for Firefly yet? Fallen for her? Bro, what? If anything, I'd probably see like a little Over sister here. or something. Follow me. Nah. Not, not in that way at all. Please. Come this way. Seems like a little Brandy sister figure more than anything. Look, that's the statue of Clocky, Pentaconi's famous cartoon character. I don't like it. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Pentaconi. It follows the adventurous like life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. Oh no. Today. Oh, I skipped it. Oops, sorry. Oh, uh, his character design is a little surrealist. Uh, I guess it's because the animation has a retro style. By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? I mean, my girlfriend is someone's little sister. Nothing wrong with that. Bro, how did you listen to what I said and come to that conclusion? <laughs> watchmaker, is he famous? I can't believe you haven't heard of him. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Pentaconi, the founder of the Dreamscape, the man who turned dreams into reality. Based. There are different stories out there about the Watchmaker's origin. 
Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claim that he was <gasps> exiled to Peniconia's prisoner. And some speculate that he wasn't even a real person. Just a symbol. It's Lieben. The true story is anyone's guess. But everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. It's As Lieben. His inspiring story became known across the cosmos. Those with a dream flocked to Peniconi in droves. They held feast after feast, eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Nice. Everyone in Peniconi knows this name. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. Ooh. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. True. Ch I don't need to press L. I saw it, I just Although, didn't let it read out. If the watchmaker really was a nameless, wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Uh, Would you like to take a picture with him? Maybe. Uh, I know how this goes. You could have charged me. No, thanks. I don't get that vibe from Firefly. My pleasure. Here, give me your phone. Hey, 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 hey! Help, help me! You hear a pitiful cry for help? The cry is coming from the clocky's eyelashes. Huh? What's that? I look. What the f- Is it a bird? The eyelashes are begging to be pulled out, which feels a little too much like a dream. Is it- Is it bird fe- Yank. It is one of the birds. Oh, nice! Thanks. Yep. Beast. Thanks, bird. I'll go to the tree. After letting out an adorable chirp, the bird flies away. Before it left, it seemed to have us look at a reward. Yeah, the tree. Yeah, yeah. Is there something wrong with Clocky's we'll statue? There. Why did you suddenly jump just now? It's not Tracer from Overwatch. Yet. Cheers, love. The cavalry's here. I rescued a bird, a bird with sharp edges and points. A bird with sharp edges and points. <laughs> I saw it. Well, oh. <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on to the next stop, which is just a stone's throw away from here. Please. Follow me. Okay. <laughs> Can you see that building in the distance? Yes. That's the famous Grand Theater, another great landmark of Peniconi. Damn. That's a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? Yes. In the real world, Looks like a J. J. it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Peniconi Grand Theater. Since the moment it Jesus. was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Peniconi with everlasting peace. I guess it kind of does look like Paimon's crown and slightly. here we are! The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look, there's even a telescope here. When the Charmony Festival arrives, remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. This is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Peniconi. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soulglad Enterprise. Terrifying. Soulglad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus Susa. called the Susa Juice. Susa Juice. Idine, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Nice. Idion then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soulglad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soulglad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice, known as Dreamleaf, has gone extinct. That means Whoa. the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soul Glad is in Peniconi's Dreamscape. Now, this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. Syrupism. She abruptly freezes in that fleeting moment you notice a cautious shift in the girl's gaze, piercing directly into your brow or perhaps somewhere behind you. What are you looking at? Firefly returns to her warm and gentle disposition. Time waits for no one. Let me show you around. Dude, she's sus. She's suspicious. See these 
musical instruments playing themselves with no human performer in Penacony. That's pretty Many cool. That's have very cool. Gain self awareness due to the influence of the Memoria. After being tamed by the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. Be careful, though. Sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories. It's me! And, uh, transform into the destructive Dream Jolt troop. <laughs> the what? If you ever run into them, go ask the security guards nearby for help. Okay. Oh, God. That doesn't sound very fun. Hey, there's a ride attendant over there. Gamba! Can we Gamba? I can my tokens for you. With those, you'll be able to try any of the attractions here that you fancy. Okay, get me some, please. I would like to gamble. Hello. Hi there. This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacony. May I get some ID tokens for her? Of course. Please show me your dreamscape pass. It's here. It's a very hey. cool looking one. Here's your dreamscape pass and tokens. How many tokens are there? Ten. Ten? Now enjoy the attractions in Pinnacony to the fullest. Thanks. <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Okay. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Chat, I will go to the big one. Oh my god, I will I will go to the big one. It's fine. <laughs> Let's live into the forest. <laughs> we will do the big gamba machine. Let's do it. Okay, let's Let go. Let me see. Which one should we try first? Oh my god, it's actual Gatchapon. Humongous prize. It shook. Wait, this is the one that I needed, isn't it? <gasps> you better fucking give me it. Oh, I don't choose it. Wow, you won something oh. on your first attempt? Impressive. Yeah, dog shit. What do you mean? I got the worst thing. What do you mean impressive? That's not fucking impressive at all. I got the worst thing. Sorry, Firefly. Do the... I do what you didn't know. It was entire. Wait, is that another? Is that? Oh, I thought that was more tokens. It was entirely worth it, though, Did Firefly. You have fun? Yeah. Pony's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? It is. Uh, you sound a bit sad. I'm not sad. It's just that this dream is so loving and forgiving. It's fast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> Understandable. I really appreciate your help earlier today. You're welcome. It was my pleasure. That's even though you're sus. why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me. Even though I didn't belong here. Hmm. I've grown very fond of this place. And that makes me want to... <laughs> share it with others. Hmm. Are you really a stowaway? I... I'm a lawful resident. At least now I am. What? Suspicious. What are you looking hey, at now? Can you come closer? Closer, please. I have a question for you. You're trying to hide yourself away. I guarantee Did it. Did you travel here alone? Why? Uh, I am, at least for now. I don't trust her enough, dude. <laughs> I see. Suspicious as hell. I'm not sure whether you've realized it or not. I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because, well, someone's been following you. I feel like they might be following you. Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well-trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. Who is that? He looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. He has large Is that arms Sampo? and his fingers are slender oh and my God, it's fucking Sampo. I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. <laughs> It's fucking sad. Do you know anybody like that? Yeah, I do. Maroon jacket, emerald eyes, <laughs> dark blue hair. <laughs> He's coming our way. Hey, well, hey. if it isn't my most loyal customer.
customer. What's the up? Trailblazer girl. What's up, shampoo? It's been such a long time, old friend. It's been a quite a while, actually. Yeah, I thought I got what rid of you. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. Yeah, uh, something like that. I can't be dreaming, can I? Uh, surely. You're such a hoot, buddy. This is Penacony. Of course you're in a dream. Why are you here? You're surprised to see me? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You help your LO6 open up to the outside. Fair, um, I guess I did. This gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember I me? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? That's all <laughs> You should get your eyesight checked. Are you sure March 7th looks like this? My name is Firefly. I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Are you drunk? Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. You've been drinking the, the good stuff, that sus juice? It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo, and I'm an old pal of hers. Nice to meet you, too. Ooh, seems like we're getting on the same wavelength now. Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacony? My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacony? Sounds well, so I just idea. hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Speaking of which... Gamba. Old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. People can change forms, huh? I mean, it did say earlier in the dreamscapes you, you can change, you can take the form of someone else, yeah, because it, it, like one of the rules it said was like don't take the appearance of somebody else. So yeah, it makes sense. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does I read know Penacony well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups. I think I could do much better. Oh, God. <gasps> Entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Gambling, surely. Uh, uh, Mr. Sam. Chat, not like that. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't mm. worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. I'm confused and slightly concerned, honestly. Uh, it takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? Oh, I'm so pinball down. Machine? I am She's so not down. not acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Mm -mm. Show her what you're made of. Oh, that's cool. Ha! <laughs> that's cool. Don't shake your soda. I kind of like that. Wait, we got a Stella Jade for that as is well. This, uh, the lower level of the commercial district. Go away. Bingo. Our destination is right there. Happy Papeshi Salon. Let me alone. This is no ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the Papeshi people, or those with the eyes. It is, Nova. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Zempo. Zempo. Papeshi bodyguard. Oh, Here dear God. Here we are again, pal. Well, hello. Oh, my God, oh, it's a child. It's you. You here to relax? It's a fucking child. It's a Moogle child. I have two friends here who want to come with me. Any seats left inside? Mm. How many of you? How many does it look like, child? <laughs> Show me your VIP card. No problem. Here it is. I'm talking about your friends. I've already seen yours. <laughs> um, well, how can my friends have VIP cards when They've only just arrived. <laughs> Can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble. Okay? I mean, we also have VIP. Well, no, I have a VIP I can't card. Break the rules. Don't know if Firefly does. Please go Probably home not. if you don't have the card. Well, seems like we can't go in. Unless we break in? 
What the heck is this? Just stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Got it. Okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? Please? The moment of betrayal. The cloud of doubt and <laughs> everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. What? She'll understand what I mean. What are you talking about? Just a few uh -huh. intense emotions. As far as how we'll use Mass them, fools. you just wait and see. Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. Hmm. Suspicious, Sampo. Suspicious. Here's the items you asked for. Uh, Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. Huh? She said do with them as you see fit. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now, we're only short of one item, which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. What? Coincidentally, there's uh, one at the salon entrance. Okay. Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. This doesn't feel like Sampo, not gonna lie. I feel like Sampo never feels like Sampo should because he's always fucking different every time Is we meet him. A TV? Oh, it's a... <laughs> on the side of the road. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade. Really? This vibe machine has a sense of aesthetics worthy of the dreamscape. It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. I haven't even been a Punk Lord hey, yet. How about you try touching it and see what happens? We're gonna get sucked in, aren't we? Why don't you try it yourself? I want to let you enjoy this first-hand experience. <laughs> of course, mm -hmm. it's just a suggestion. If you aren't up for it, I, I'll do it myself. Yeah, I want you to do it. The two almost synchronously, synchronously turn their gaze towards you, or perhaps more precisely, it was three of them, included the guy with the trembling oversized nose and sunglasses on the screen. You know it's time to make a choice, so do you want to take a chance and touch this television to see what intriguing events might unfold? Fuck's sake, dude. What is this? Sumeru? Four. Fine. You must have the courage and with great resolve as weightly as three exclamation marks, you reach out to the suspicious screen before you. It's morphing time, Harry. Oh, God. Here we go. Mighty morphing power rangers. Oh, my. Wait, what? Yeah. Why did you oh. turn into this thing? Let out a grunt. That sounds cool. You make an extremely cool grunt, man. Really, it was so you cool. So cool. Thanks. You got swag now, pal. So, how did she turn into that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you don't get it, do you? <laughs> well, she was sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Oh. Hanu, let me take a closer look. <gasps> look. The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. Now, really? if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Or, you can just touch this TV. Uh, I'll let out another grunt, that sounds cool. Thought about how why you'd ever change back if you can keep being this cool. Ooh, here it says, enter the door to start your adventure. You have to climb inside from there to start your challenge, pal. We'll cheer you on. <laughs> of course we will. Good luck. This is fucking insane, dude. I'm enjoying Pentagon so far. Nice. Big chest. No! You've foiled my plan again and taken the treasure I worked so hard to snatch away from other people. Fine. <laughs> I'll admit it. You've rescued Dreamville once again. But you just wait. I'll be back. Nice. I miss a chest. It's fine. I'm sure you can go back in, right? After going all around, you find yourself at the entrance of the boss's stone maze. Grandy's crown of nether flame. What the fuck is... Oh. <laughs> Think about it, dog shit. Was that fluffy handcuffs? 
Damn. Let's go. You're back. Are you all right? Yes. That's quite fun. I see. Anyway. I should have grunted again. Look at that. You did oh. great. Well, this is the <laughs> proverbial moment of freedom. You have earned it. Not quite. Now that we've got everything fluffy, we need, but <laughs> you just need to go into a dream. Just follow me. <laughs> You're about to experience the real fun. Could still be pretty fun, I guess. <laughs> oh god. Uh return to the Dreamscape sales store. Okay. Oh no, I don't want to talk to the eye again. Oh Welcome I thought Welcome to Dreamscape Sales Store. Doctor Edward. Your Dr. Edward, I don't want to speak to you right now. You creep me out. Trailblazer of the Astral Express. Mm hmm. Here we are again. Uh huh. you've got two friends with you. Yes, my besties. Hello, Edward. His voice is hard to hear sometimes. to try something fun, if you know what I mean. Uh. My guest. Dr. Edward welcomes anyone who's ready for some excitement. How about when it's your dreamscape, sir? Oh, no. A superb idea, sir. Let's do it. The one from last night would be perfect. What do you dream um, about? What's going on? Well, this is a service we offer to our long-time customers. What? You can submit dreams you've recently had to me. The relevant emotion prototypes. I'll be able to turn them into customized dream bubbles that can be experienced repeatedly. That's kind of cool. Any dreams we want? Exactly. Looks like you've got the picture. You probably woken up from a dream one time and wished you could just go back to dreaming it, right? Why is there a primo gem in the eye? Bro, that is not a primo gem. <laughs> What's more like the Sestina star? have continued after waking up. Ooh. Miss Firefly, I admire your eagerness, but please be patient. Allow me to use my dream as a demonstration. Okay. I trust you all the Bro. <laughs> Why do I feel like Sampo's talking in slow motion, dude? Uh, what the f- Oh, oh. All of this stuff. Your donation is appreciated. The retrieval is complete. Calibrate the memoria and generate the dream bubble. Oh god. I'm gonna try to finish the story today. There's no guarantees. I, I don't know exactly how long it is. Please close your eyes. Oh no. Press your forehead against the dream. Jump on in, friend. Okay, you talk way too fucking slow, Sampo. Jesus Christ. You're talking like you're running at 160p and 30 FPS in one, 0 0.5 times speed. Ugh, where's this? Is this, is this the hospital on... Is this... Yeah, Bellabog? The clinic in the Bellabog underworld? You've been dreaming about Natasha? Why is it empty? I, I mean, I get it, I guess, but... What should I do? Oh, no need to be hasty now. You should take a moment to get used to the feeling of being in a dream within a dream. Oh, for God's sake, it's Inception. Uh, Is this another note? Become the garbage king, though the trash bags have long been broken. I think I've had this dream before, too. Oh, really? Oh, well, you know what no. they say. Great minds dream alike. Stop nitpicking the details. <laughs> if you ask me, I'd say you should take a look outside, but don't get frightened by what you say. Oh no, this is gonna be this is gonna be what we saw in the trailer, isn't it? With all the trash <laughs> cans. <laughs> no. What? What is happening? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what? They speak? Dream Diver. What deal? Okay. 
Habara did about Aga, the Demirable good that did Habara, but the what is happening, dude? I put up a tattoo, but I under the better at that. And the Halala, huh? We're a bit of trash bags at their heart. I say, and but I wouldn't get it a better. Harabata, do the better shoe, tata. Ha, pull up a tea. You speak it in riddles. She's trying to say that you're the only one who can unite these, um, trash cans and lead their battle against the evil king. Ha, Okay. I mean, I'm about it. What do I need to do? Help the trash come with the troubles and collect three proofs of trust. I'm confused. Okay. I guess I'm also confused, but you know what? It is what it is. I guess we just help them, right? The trash meades. This particular trash can stands quietly. Its lid is chipped to fit. Oh <laughs> Trying to memorize an astronomical oh number. Wise answers. Uh, I need proof oh of trust. Uh, mm. It's lost in the oh mountain of trash. Work with me. Oh my god. I. Okay. What sort of trash would Trash Can Kingdom hold? Curiosity Pete, do you open the lid? Unfortunately, there isn't any difference. Maybe Dr. Edward did not have time to attend to these details. What? There's a comic book inside this trash can. The pictures are torn and damaged. It tells of an adventure. Tartaloff was once a brave trash can with val valiance and willpower. In order to repay Tartaloff, the human turned himself into a trash can. This is actually a horror story. You see something unexpected. A true sting lying inside the trash can looking back at you. Die, remnants of propagation. It's time to... Oh, no. We got to fuck. Why are they in the... Tr you know what? It is what it is. Don't give it these bullshit enemies again. All fucking die. Don't give it this bullshit. <laughs> Wish I'd have known what I was getting myself into. I would have, uh, I would have maybe switched. <laughs> Propagation's crisis has ended. The world is once again peaceful, and that trash can has endured undeserved ordeals and returned to his slumber. Thank you, Nameless. Now give me my fucking proof. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Three trash cans are around each other, arguing ceaselessly about a certain matter. <laughs> this is the legendary golden trash. <laughs> a symbol of power and status. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will pledge you endless wealth, more than enough to fill the biggest trash can there is. I'll give you the gold and trash can to give you endless knowledge. Beautiful trash can of the world. I'm stealing it. <laughs> About the small trash cans, is there anyone who stands as tall as upright as you? Fix just like that? Then who's the most qualified can? No, that no longer mattered. The Outlander must be trying to help us understand how foolish this dispute of ours was. Yes, now give me the proof. Huge, thank you. <laughs> Dude, this game is fucking stupid. Holy shit, it's so dumb. A strange trash bag, trash bag sits at the bottom of the trash can. You know, it's a seal on the bag. I'm taking it. Bam, green smoke blasts up from... Oh no, a giant trash can. But I don't want to fight any... Oh my, Garboski, a kind of unmatched evil defeat you? <laughs> oh my god, I must die? Okay, but I'm a person, not a trash can. You were not the savior I expected. Because you have betrayed my expectations, I should thank you instead. Go, I won't take it. Oh, thank god. Why not stand with me against Tatalov? Okay, goodbye. Wait. Audience? You dealt with the sealed demon Garboski? He's so powerful and so terrifying. How magnificent. You won me over with many others. finally collected three proofs of trust. Let's go back and deliver them. My Jabard build is just pure defense. Pure defense. This was such a fever dream. I feel like this is... Listen. Is this where the final battle will take place? Hit me out here, Jay. Not sure how I feel about this. I feel like having this in the 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 Such main a quest is scene. fucking a wild decision. <laughs> Didn't they 
just say the garbage king would wait for me here? Have yes. I been set up? Probably. I, yeah, I feel like this should definitely. Oh wait. Oh my. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh my... Hey, wait! I'm the... What kind of nonsense is this? <laughs> Don't interrupt the best bit! I feel like I feel like I'm at the movies and someone just shouted out the ending. What a bummer! I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the garbage king. Actually, same. It really is a shame. I, why are you the what garbage? A huge pity. Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt halt because of Miss Firefly. I was looking forward to seeing your face when the truth dawned on you. Oh, I'm the garbage king. Maybe. Uh, what truth? Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream world distract you from your goal. As soon as you get complacent, you lose sight of the truth. Don't you think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern day Penacone? No! A small stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. None of them want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. You're not at home anymore, kid. You've wandered into the depths of the unknown. Fantastic. Let me put it to you straight. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. I'm gonna be very disappointed if you get bamboozled by the likes of them. I love the word bamboozled. Also, discombobulate. I love that word. What in the dream world are you talking about? Seems like you really do have no clue. Turn around and take a look. Is that girl still here? What the hell did Firefly go? Local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't. You better hurry up and confront her if you have any questions. Hmm. Don't let her off scot free. See you around, pal. I feel like Sampo knows who Don't she is, which is even more what suspicious. Did Sampo mean? Is Firefly hiding something? Well, I think that's obvious from the get go. I must but... find her and demand an explanation. The from question her. is, what is she fucking hiding? Uh, oh, no, I don't care about the melody inside. I'm sorry. I would like to collect my free sticker, please. A burger. Oh, I could eat a burger. I have noodles tonight, though. Good noodles. Or. Oh. Firefly, what the fuck is going on? Also, Buck. Sorry, I got <laughs> slightly, you know. Hmm. We have a spoiler. Uh, mods can be banned. I don't know. I didn't see anything, but also I don't know spoilers because I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm sorry. Shit, I couldn't read it. She was gazing at something. Uh, you don't have to apologize. I don't find you. S you feel guilty, don't you? No, I do. <laughs> yes. Why? There are things. I'm hiding from you. What are you hiding? I'm not a local. And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. But still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And, and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds, met people from all walks of life, and experienced all sorts of things. Hmm. Every day is a new beginning for you guys. I do love that kind of life. You can board the Astral Express too. Oh, sh <sighs> but I want to know more. Can more. I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It, it's my very own secret base. And I'll Secret do my base. best to tell you everything I know when we get there. Sure. Thanks. I want to trust her. I really do. I feel like I'm trying to put two and two together with Firefly, but we don't have this the two or the two something... yet. To... TikTok! Help! Help me! Someone's dying! Please, come here!
What? Didn't I make myself clear? Someone is dying! Please help! Wait! Can you see me? Yes, Mickey, I can see you. Is there a problem? I can see a clock with limbs. Can you really see me? Tick tock! Wonderful! This is awesome! Uh -huh. There's still hope for Misha! Oops! Uh, I haven't introduced myself! My name is Clocky! I'm a famous celebrity in Pentacony. My friends and I keep the peace in this small town. They are Hanu, Mr. Soda, Origami Bird, Hamster Ball Knight. Hamster Ball Knight? Misha! Misha is in trouble! Tick tock! Help! Help! How can I help? Uh, Clocky? You heard me, Firefly. Do you Listen. Mean you saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist in real life. I'm dreaming. Yes, I saw him. Um, where is he? I, I can't see him. Tick tock! I guess I'm only visible to those with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child. Like this kid here clad in gray! Brother, he said only children can see- <laughs> Um... <laughs> but I think you look older than me in terms of appearance. I'm not a child. Tick tock! Tick tock! My great friend! Since you can see me, then you must be able to help me. My friend Misha is in trouble. Okay, well help I... Misha. I, uh, he's begging for my help. He says someone's life's in danger. Is it really that bad? Well, are you gonna help this um clocky that <laughs> only you can see? I don't think you're lying. As anything can happen in a dream. Uh, Tick yes, tock. we'll probably Tick help. Tock. Hurry up and follow me, great friend. Bro. Misha's in trouble. He's over there. Let me bring you to him. The name of Misha rings a bell to me. Yeah, we met Misha anyway, in the dream. Better check out what's going on. Come oh, this on, is this is actually up. insane. As fast as the hamster ball night. B stop. Really? Oh shit. Everyone. And Misha. Please stay calm. You broke the rules, and now you're gonna have to pay the price. Punish you, yes. punish, punish. No. <sighs> How did it come to this? I don't know. The clock told me to help you. Isn't that Acheron? Uh, do you know her? I feel like we've met before. See? I wasn't lying. Misha really is in trouble. TikTok, <laughs> I'm begging you, my gray friend. Begging you. Please help Misha. Uh, my baseball bat can't wait to I'm show it to my. Baseball bat isn't an efficient weapon. I'd like to prove no, you otherwise. No. What I mean is, we can't solve this problem of violence. Tick tock, tick tock. It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this way. Of all the lowlifes in Dreamville, Stone's the worst. Hmm. He's a greedy man who wants to drive everyone out of Dreamville so that he can have all the precious stones to himself. Little Mika, thank you for the seven he months. He instructed his underlings to wreak havoc in the dreamscape, taking away everyone's positive emotions. Uh... Since then, the town has been filled with... But no one's allowed negative emotions. As the guardian of Dreamville, I can't just sit back and do nothing. By using the power of clockwork, I can direct the flow of positive emotions in the dreamscape back into people's hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again! Interesting. Also, B. David, thank you for the uh, new tier one as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My great friend, I require your I keep... assistance. <laughs> I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. After all, you're the special one who can see me. I keep thinking he says gay friend ever since the the memes about uh, Stella being like the, the gay trash panda did. Oh my god. Also, you're a new visitor to this world, which means we have the element of surprise. If you take action now, we can catch him off guard. Uh, what is clockwork? Here, I'll show you. First... Close your eyes. Okay. Tick tock. Now, our minds have merged into one. Can you feel an energy 
surging through your body. Bro, just tell me what the power All is. All you have to do <laughs> is use clockwork on that cranky gangster boss and inject good emotions into him. Then we'll have won. Please bear in mind that you should never use clockwork with malicious intent. Okay, we're the Guardians of the Galaxy. I get it. I get it. Uh, what the f- Okay. Mind your own business, lass. I have to let that lady there know she's messed with the wrong person. Have you seen her? She will murder you in one foul swoop. Here comes a clockwork. Uh, use your clockwork to tune this person's emotional state. Finally make your confirmation here, TikTok. Current emotion is angry. So I guess we're trying to make him calm. Okay. What got into me just now? Hey, he seems normal now. That's wonderful. You did it. Okay, I saw a dial and got it moving. Great. It means you've mastered the art of clockwork. Oh, was I about to get into a fight with that lady? Was I crazy? Yes. What's wrong with What's the wrong with the Hey, hey, may I ask you a question? Were you the one who made me simmer down earlier? Yes. I, I, I wasn't. My <gasps> I see a bird. Uh, it's the least I can do. Ooh, thanks for doing that. If we laid a finger on our guests just now, we would have faced severe punishment from the Bloodhound family. I'm so sorry for stirring up all this trouble. Alas, why did I get so worked up all of a sudden? It's oh, my great friend. My <laughs> you have to tell him that stone is behind this. Uh, it's bosses stones, boss stones to me. Can you believe Stone? it? Uh, I, I'm not sure I get what you mean. Uh, anyway, uh, I oh, he's covering up. A proper apology. Hey, gang, gang, uh, line up and say sorry to our honored guests, huh? I'm sure. sure. Ready? I <laughs> Can we have some privacy, please? Sure thing, huh? You're the boss. Hey, gang, let's give our VIP some space, huh? <laughs> yes, yes, boss. <sighs> we meet again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? Apparently. Misha, uh, are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? She's an esteemed guest who might be But Misha can me see him. I told you about her before. Does it ring a bell? Oh, it's her! Anyway, it thanks a lot. If you hadn't gotten here in time, whew, I would have been in a real mess. <sighs> Thank uh -huh. you. I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. Uh, no, if that means the least I can do. About all the commotion just now, I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. Mm. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings along the way. Whoever voice clocky did anyway, an amazing job. I owe you another one. Is yes, this lady. Yes, your friend too. I will say. I know the voice is supposed to be like that, and that's like the direction for the voice, and it is a good voice. It just grates on me. <laughs> well, we've only met each other once before, but she is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. Oh. The beautiful lady? By the way, Damn. what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. I, I did. I was wondering about that too. I used clock. What happened back there exactly? Uh, Clocky dropped some clockwork. That's right! Therapy. Clocky! <laughs> of course, you played a big part too. Without you doing the clockwork, Dreamville would have been in some real trouble. Clocky? Yes, <laughs> that cartoon character. I think he's shown up in reality? I mean, in the dreamscape. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here. Yeah. But according to our friend here, only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. <sighs> yep, Clock. It seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. If Clocky really Well, so exists, am I, I think. I can explain a lot of things. Huh. Uh... Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next oh, to you. Oh, interesting. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. 
We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream, probably due to our ability to react to memoria. But you're more attuned to it than I am. I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. The elegant memo keeper. Oh, that's probably Black Shortly Swan, after right? We parted ways, I wandered into a ball without realizing it. Yeah. The lady wearing a black veil invited me to dance. <laughs> Why is it red again? It was my first dance, and it was an unforgettable experience. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. Garden of Recollection? <gasps> hmm. Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that clocky you saw? After all, it is a grand event held by the family. The guest list could be a lot longer than we imagine. True. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt oh. your date. This is not a date. Oh, no, we're not on a date. <laughs> We're not on a date. She's like, she's I feel done. like she's like my little sister, dude. I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Ain't no Alabama here. Thanks, my great friend. <laughs> I really appreciate your help. The Nameless are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. May our paths cross again. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock Please indeed. Please come with me. I hope that you won't be distracted by oh, some invisible friend Oh shit, on the express. Again. Why don't I trust this? Here we are. This is the place. Mm, looks mighty fine. No. Uh, oh, is this your stronghold? This is. The sewers? Yes, it's right inside. This is embarrassing. People are watching us. It doesn't matter. Anything can happen in a dream, and there are lots of people falling from the sky every day. The pedestrians aren't going to be faced by anything. Let me show you how to do it. It's going to be very dark at first, so you'll have to stay close to me. Should I watch a stream at work? Yeah, school's important. Fuck work, honestly. <sighs> huh? <gasps> She's hey, here. Let me ask you something. Is following girls around like a lost puppy your way of getting their attention? You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. To be more precise, it's been 45 oh, minutes. Oh, Tim. I'm sure flies when you're having fun. Doesn't it? But don't tell me they like each Ugh, other. Spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Are you from Sigonia? Oh, they don't know it. She's so small. Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. A oh, honey. My eyes might not be as pretty as yours, but there's no problem with my vision. You Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe. Liars. Thieves, social manipulators, wolves in sheep's clothing. You're really living up to the reputation. I say you belong to the space under the manhole cover, not in a dream. But that's where I'm going. There's one right over there. Off you go. I'll pass. The gloomy shade of a place like that just wouldn't go with my vibe. Dreamville is frivolous, vain, and flashy, and that suits me just fine. Yeah, you're not wrong. Also, it, really does. it never rains here. My outfit is too expensive to be exposed to the elements. Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't Ooh. stupid. We aren't interested in playing the friend game with the lapdogs of the IPC. <laughs> really? Oh, shit. You've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Do you think I know nothing about the history of Penacony? Don't drag me into your banal office politics! Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. You better pick a side while you have the chance. Oh, God. Or else you'll end up losing everything. You uh... sound very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. <laughs> chicken wing How did you do it, little peacock? Did you strip yourself naked, apologize to him on your knees, and promise that the IPC would never harm Panacone? 
friends. Oh, please. You guys only treat others as your bargain God chips. damn! Oh, what's wrong with chips? <laughs> In any gamble, the only players that will never be on the losing side are the chips. My friends from the Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express are all smart enough to understand that. You have no friends on the Astral Express, fuck off. But the smarter off. ones wouldn't have joined the game in the first place. See? I'm smarter. Listen, little peacock. You've been invited by the tavern before, too. If you want the masked fools to get on board, you need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Aha, uh -huh, interesting. She's so mean to him? I think it's okay to be mean to someone who's using everybody for their own gain and also a bit of an asshole at 99.99999% of times and I'm only giving the benefit of the doubt on the 0.0001% of times because we haven't really seen too much of what's going on with him. Here's a hint for you. Since you can't convince anyone, why don't you find a rock to be friends with? <laughs> At least a rock True, pet rocks are pretty good. to refute your arguments. <laughs> True. So long. Might not be sparkly enough for him, though. <laughs> Thanks. I'll keep your advice in mind. <sighs> yeah? Alright, bye. Please don't see me. What a pain in the neck. I guess I'll have to meet with the family again. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Here. That was a very interesting interaction, honestly. Oh, a piece of candy. Oh, oh there was two clocky things. Okay, I'm not gonna get too sidetracked though. Wait, fuck, I see more Look. birds. This place is breathtaking, isn't There's it? There's birds everywhere, dude. Guests aren't allowed here, so we have to be careful not to get caught. Don't worry, this place isn't dangerous. Just, um, think of this as the border of Golden Hour. Hmm. The family is still building and remodeling the dreamscape beyond here. My secret stronghold is in this area. Nice. Let's sneak inside. Well, I will after I rescue this bird and get my music. Hold on. There's a construction site ahead. Okay. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in. I'm authorized. Chat. We're caught right away. Uh, could you let us do just this time? Could you uh, please make an exception? We're not going to cause any trouble. Uh, not a chance. Our oh. boss made it clear that only the dreamers are allowed here. I am a dreamer. He won't budge. But she's not. We know Galaga. Oh, Who? true. Eh, never um. heard of him. I wouldn't let you in, even if the Dream Master were here. None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a maybe, favor and go home. Maybe my clockiness will work. Seems like you won't give in. Perhaps clockiness yeah, yeah, clock yeah. trick can come in handy. This doesn't count as malicious intent, right? Oh, but a hundred percent does. What can we make None of you your feel? tricks are going to work. Provoke him a bit. How would we provoke? We could either make him angry or sad. Let's try sad. Ah, honored guests. Welcome to Penacony. What? I'm a member of the Bloodhound family. And my job is maintaining order in the dreamscape. In fact, no danger will arise under the family's protection, which makes my job redundant. Oh. Even a trash can is more important than me. Oh. Well, you're in luck then, for I am the danger. Oh my god, another Heisenberg reference. Please refrain from that. I know I won't be able to overcome you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Please just give me some privacy. You two should enjoy this fun and exciting dreamscape instead what the hell? of talking to someone who is worse than a trash can. Uh, can you let us do then? Oh, 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 no way. This, there's little dignity left in me. Please be nice and don't trample on it. I, sure enough, you guys can force your way through, but... I swear I'll stop you or die trying. After all, I have nothing left to lose. I feel really bad. The man mentioned die trying. It might just be worth to give him what he wanted. That is, if he can live with it. Oh my god. <laughs> no. I'm gonna make him... I'm just gonna make him happy, I think. Because he's already quite calm. I'm just gonna make him happy. 
Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Uh, oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, oh my, oh my, oh my. <laughs> Buddy, you look, uh, you look as delighted as me. Ooh, can you feel it? It's, this is wild. It feels like I just downed ten bottles of Apocalypse Soul Glad in one gulp and spent an entire day at the Dreamscape sales store. Mm -hmm. Oh, if Mia were here, we would sing a song together. Oh, I'm sure she would understand how I feel. I can hardly contain this palpable excitement. Oh, I'd like to invite you to dance with mm -mm. me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Right mm -mm. here, right now. Uh, will you let us in after I dance with you? Oh, no way. It's totally fine if you want to turn me down. This... Crazy mood and this pounding heart are just what I need. I, I wish, I wish it would last forever. Still, I won't let you guys in because it's my duty to stop you. He really is a man of principle. I'm gonna kill him. Oh my god, again? I feel like angry is just pointless. Angry is gonna make it worse. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Unauthorized personnel are not allowed at the construction site. Go! I know. Do you two really want to stay here and test my patience? Yes. Oh, you're going to regret it. Come on, let's fight. Oh, you're asking for it. Oh, and I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. I deal with punks like you all the time. You fear for nothing just because you're... Fight me. Let me help you spoiled brats learn the hard way. Go okay. Jesus Christ. Bro be yapping, dude. Alright, it's dead now. Boom. What other percentage is that short with ratio? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, darn it! I can't believe I've lost! <laughs> is this... Is this the power of you? It's the power of... If I'd had that power back then, what... A stellar on an inhibitor. Would differently, Mia? <sighs> Alright. Uh, you can go in. As the winner here, you deserve it. Seems like he's taking this winning and losing thing a little too seriously. Eh. Never imagined that's how we'd end up getting past the guard. Yeah, we get through anyway, so that it is what it is. That trick of really is amazing. Oh, very pretty music. Why are we here? Have you heard of this song? It's called, If I Can Stop One Heart From Breaking, by Robin. Her songs are played in the dreamland from time to time as the Charmony Festival is drawing close. This spot is the closest place to the sky in the dreamscape. It's far away from the wow. hustle and bustle of the city and free from the bickering among the dreamers. You can feel the moment. The scenery, the people and the dreams. Without being disturbed by anyone. How beautiful. Very pretty. Dude, that's so cinematic. Time is frozen at this golden hour. This golden dream shared by the fool from the tavern and the memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection, the wandering ranger and the IPC ambassador, the Astral Express nameless, and me. Who are you? I feel like we're missing so much about her, dude. Everyone falls asleep here equally. Regardless of our different agendas. <sighs> hmm. I'm sorry. I really am a stowaway. <laughs> I never saw that coming. <laughs> I think it's only right to tell you. I already fucking knew. But sure, thanks. You could have told me at first, My to be fair. My hometown was destroyed a long time ago. <laughs> it was probably the doing of the Legion or the Swarm, but... I I'm an interstellar refugee. Just like... many of the Penaconi locals. The Harmony accepts everyone. Hmm. Including wanderers from afar. Family takes them in, but they don't. Damn, the music did. They don't belong here in this splendid metropolis. Some have a dream called Penaconi, but 
Some have dreams that are no different from reality. Hmm. Even though everyone who comes here harbors the same motive in the beginning. And it's likewise for me. Damn. I have a wish I want to achieve so badly in the real world. What is it? But I can't. So... I want to give it a shot here. What's the wish? Yeah, what's the wish? I'm, cu I'm too curious. Entropy loss syndrome. Have you heard of this term? No. It's a strange condition. Those suffering from it will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation of their physical structure. What? This means they will slowly fade away. And the process is barely noticeable to others. You can still run, jump, and talk as usual. Everything seems normal. Damn. But then you'll start doing everything slightly slower than others. And then even slower than that. Until the lines between your body and the entire world become blurry. You won't be able to tell reality from dreams because they have all been shattered. Is that why Sampo was talking so slow? Yeah. So Maybe. How could I possibly resist it? <sighs> I mean, can you imagine? I can actually free myself from this icy medical cabin in this dream. I can forget about all the doctor's advice. I can listen and see and touch and think and understand whatever I want with my body. So although this world isn't real, this experience is priceless. Just like this moment. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. For certain reasons, there are things I can't reveal to you yet. God damn it. <laughs> we've, been, we've been doing so there well. there are also things you should know. I am, in fact, after the Watchmaker's legacy. But that doesn't mean we have to go our separate ways and be enemies. But at least, I really hope things don't turn out that way. Oh, dude. It is hard to put trust into people that uh, that hide things from you. That is very true. That is very true. I'm going to say it because I'm curious what she's going to say to this more than anything. I understand. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. Damn. In my dream... I saw a scorched earth and a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun and it whispered to me. Mm. I still remember the question on the invitation letter. What did it say? Why does life slumber? You see, everything is possible in this land of dreams. The nightmarish past will disperse and fade away like bubbles in water. And the future that you don't want to face will never come. Why do people choose to sleep? To rest? I think it's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. Interesting. I'm sorry. Things are getting all bleak <gasps> and serious. Uh... Let me see what I can do to lighten the mood. I know what I can do. There's a I bird mean, behind you. Don't you have a lot of friends on the Astral Express? What would you guys do if something like this happened? Pick the bird. Holy shit. Uh, Himeko would make a coffee for his Coffee? Well, we can't really make that here. We can go get one of those drinks, Aren't though. Are there other crew members we can take inspiration from? 
Marge had forced us to take a selfie. I do have my phone. Selfie. Selfie. Hmm. You're right. I mean, I've been here so many times. Why didn't I think of taking a photo? I feel a little awkward taking it by myself. Would you like to join me? Yeah. Let's commemorate this moment. I'm so mean? What, for saying that I can't trust somebody that's gonna hide things from me? I disagree with you. I don't think that's mean at all. I think that's human, actually. I think that's what 90% of people in the real world would feel. Sure, let's do it. I can feel a little bit a photo. camera shy. <laughs> Just don't laugh at me. Here, you hold the camera. Let's do it. Uh, the girl has the phone to you, her eyes filled with expectation. You take the phone, launch the camera app, and switch the front-facing camera effortlessly. Then, extending your arm, you hold the phone at a distance as you're both of you are captured Wait, in the frame. Get ready. Oh no. Oh no. I'm good. Let's do this. One, two, three. Say cheese. I love cheese. Oh, that's so Really, it's too bad I can't trust you because you're hiding shit from me, but god damn, that's adorable. That's really cute, dude. You all having fun? Lots of fun, sure, but something feels off. It doesn't feel very real. It's odd. I can't describe it. Well, it is a dream. It is a dream. I saw a guy wearing a plaster head sculpture at an, the auction and he walked off without doing anything. It's pretty suspicious. Also had some unpleasant discoveries. It's a bit complicated, especially if we meet up face to face. Me too. Looks like a trip back to reality is overdue. Let's head back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Go oh, there goes gravity. Yes. <laughs> Time really flies. It does. I feel like going back to reality and resting too. Come on. Let's say goodbye at golden hour. Okay. Let's do it. Gentleness, the name of Nocturne. If I can stop one heart from breaking. That's going to be my new uh, Astral Express music, I think. I wonder if I have to go to the hotel to return to reality. Back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Strange. Where's everyone gone? Wait. That was strange. I think th they those people are only there because you can interact with them. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Sample. <sighs> we meet again, my dear. Apparently. Do you need therapy? It looks like you have not taken my warnings to heart. A pity. Are you so enchanted by that girl? Yeah, she's my little sister. Now fuck off, Sample. You want us to trust you after all the bullshit You're you did? You're just so blind. You have the fucking nerve. Careful. I'm more than certain now that this friend of yours is dangerous. Uh-huh. Oh, this brave little girl appears to be protecting you. I wonder why. Are you two that close? I have a feeling this sample is not sample. It did say that in the dream realm, people can take the form of others, but it was strictly forbidden. This sounds more like a venturing than sample. You talk too much. <laughs> oh, I love your attitude, my dear. I have to admit, you're different from your friend here. Your senses are much sharper. Yeah, this does not sound like Sample. So, this sounds like adventure. We're lagging far behind the main party. Have you not noticed yet what the family is hiding? The secret behind this sweet dream? And as for you, the trailblazer who saved the ice world. Then again, adventure wouldn't know that we saved. I how much others might have embellished Sempo's story when recounting the happenings on Yorello 6. It's surprising what tales they spin. Oh well, it was my problem for trusting him. Wait, it is somebody else. But it wouldn't make sense to be adventuring because I don't think he'd know about the Ice World stuff. I'm really, really disappointed in you. Who are you? <sighs> Wait. Um, excuse me. Why don't you rest for a little while? Sparkle? Inside the real dreamscape. Oh, shit. Oh. 
she been hanging out with Aventurine too much, dude? I, I'm just... She, she sounded very much like him at first. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I mean, she, she's part of the Mass this... Falls, right? So... What is this place? We already know she's gonna be a little I'm sus. I'm back at the hotel? No. This feeling... The surroundings look a little like I just entered a dream. Wait! Was, was she always Sample? Oh my god, is Sampo not even here? Oh fuck, that makes so much sense. That's why the I said long-standing customer as well. Oh my god. Sampo wouldn't be able to be a long-standing customer. He's He hasn't been here that long. Oh, that's so smart, dude. Holy shit. I've run into a little trouble. I'm in a dream within a dream. Oh, I have no signal in this dream. I okay, fuck off. Uh can't get in. It's okay. Are you in there? I'm not Mikhail. The dial of the counter is stirred to life as its needles start to spin quickly as if it's about to take you to a distant moment in the past. Why has it come to this? Calm down, it's just me left now. I have to complete this instruction he left behind. I have to do it. But how do I do it? How could I possibly complete it? Uh, is there no one who can help me? Grandpa's what? Sad gear. Sparkle. This is too weird. Wait, Mikhail's. Tick tock. Was Mikhail one of the names that Hermeko said to us in the beginning about uh the other trailblazers? Yoink! Yoink! Fuck! Wait. Firefly. What? <laughs> So you're really here too? Don't tell me we're dead. I don't know. <laughs> in any case, we must still be in a dream. It can't be anywhere else, much less reality. I'm never wrong about the distinctive sense of memoria that's in the air. But this is very different from the sweet dream that I'm familiar with. It's suffocating. Hmm. Silent. Uneasy. And these floating words, can you see them too? This kind of place would never exist on Penacone under the provision of the family. So, could this be a dream bubble? No, that's not right. Do you remember, before we were unconscious, that friend of yours said, the real dreamscape. Mm. I don't think he's not my friend. I don't think that's really important here, but... This is the family secret. I'm not sure. Everything happened so quickly. But regardless, the family must be hiding something. Something about the truth of the dreamscape. And you probably noticed it when you woke up as well. Yeah. The ticking of clocks all around us. <sighs> My gut tells me that the secret hidden here is also linked to the mysterious watchmaker. If it points us towards the watchmaker's legacy, True. Oh, it will be connected oh, to everyone who has melded to Penacone's dream. I didn't expect it to take a turn Let's like go. that. We at have to that move. point, dude. Be it to find an exit or the truth. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we'll go back. Oh, hi, see. Are we playing hide and seek? No. We can't get through here. Are you done? Let's take the way around from the side. Oh, what the hell? Dead end here too. Damn. Wait, what Even is this? The layout of the room. Are they really suggesting? Oh, bubble charge. Is that for the? Walls? That's for these. Press R. Dude, Can't believe that worked. That's so sick. Tampering with the dreamscape's gravity is clearly strictly forbidden. I love this so much, dude. Mikhail. This is too overwhelming. The exit. He's on the other side? How are we going to cross over? Jump. It's a dream. Incredible. Get Mari thank you for the really nine months. This is a that can only be witnessed in a dream. Interesting. These uh, words have been appearing and then vanishing persistently for a while now. Whose thoughts are they? Don't know. And who is this Mikhail? I don't know who Mikhail is. It's, uh, where have I heard this name? I have heard it. Did it's Sunday like mention it? I can't remember where we heard feel it. Feel emotions contained within them. 
confusion, fear, sadness, and others so faint I can barely feel them. Hmm. Unyielding resolve in the face of death. Hmm. God, Just what? one chest. It's a trap, and I'm all about traps. What's going on? Trap me. The lights have all turned on. So creepy. What's the circus music but all about? Since there are so many doors here, we should be able to leave through one of them. Unknown puzzle for... Oh, no. This one. Because this is the only one with an exit on the map. Wait, fuck. This was the way out. Wait, it just flipped and reversed me. The exact same room? Help! No. Help me. No. Help. This again. No, wait. Could it be? Mikhail, do not open the box. Oh, I'm gonna open the box. I'm not Mikhail, but I will be opening the box. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Which one was the original door? Bro, I don't fucking know. This one? It's Maybe. My eyes. Careful. Something's up. Something is up. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Wait, Black Swan? No. No, no. It's the memory zone meme. It's the fucking what Pursuing. now? Oh, I shouldn't have used that attack. It cannot oh. come to pass. Oh, it's Kill this you. one. Nice. It didn't kill him though. There we go. That did. Bring him back, baby. Bring him back. Fuck. Zero points. Oh Jesus. Flesh. He just fucking yoinked to- Oh no. Wait, that looks like Black Swan- Oh, it is! If you don't know the right technique, damn, you might never return from the shadow of death, emerging without a scratch. Yeah. Uh oh. Are you gonna join me now? <laughs> and you are. Easy girl, I'm on your side. You can call me. Oh, nice. Black Swan. Oh, I don't know what that did though. Uh oh. Nice. Interesting fight. Interesting fight. Mm -mm -mm. See you next time. Oh damn. Hurry. <laughs> God damn. That's kind of wild, dude. You're awake, lazy bug. <laughs> yes. Looks like you had a nice dream. No. It wasn't very nice, actually. It was kind of, kind of bad. Bad dream. Bad, evil, bad, bad How nightmare. How was it? Did you dream of me? That part was good, but the rest was not. Are we in heaven or? <laughs> Welcome to reality. More specifically, the reverie. The safest and most familiar place you can be. I'm happy to see that you've kept your wits and that you haven't been affected by the primal dreamscape. How lucky. Huh. Uh, what about Firefly? Should we make it out? <laughs> You're quite concerned about that young lady. I am. That's fair. She was hellbent on assuring your safety, even at the brink of death. 
started to tug a little at my heartstrings, even. Damn. I know you've many questions, so please, compose yourself. Before that, you should let your friends know you're safe. I can text them. Maybe I have signal now. Um, that was an interesting turn of events. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to see people uh, again. Suspicious. Could it really just be a coincidence? Probably Look, not. There's no coincidences in Tava. Oh. kid back as promised. Uh, you're all right. We couldn't find you in either dream or reality. We were worried sick. It's good to see you're unharmed. Hmm. Allow me to introduce you to Miss Black Swan, memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. Ah! My, sorry, chat. That was probably really loud. I, I banged the mic. You know each other? Yeah. Miss Himiko said that they were investigating the incidents happening in the dreamscape. We've only met once. But thanks to you, we might be able to use this opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better. True. So how did you end up there? And what the heck happened? Uh, yeah, here's the full story. So, <laughs> the one who attacked you was a girl dressed in red, adept at illusory arts, and was able to shapeshift. Yes. Her name is Sparkle, <laughs> a masked nice. fool who has infiltrated Penacony. Don't worry. She won't be bothering you for now. She's probably patting herself on the back for a job well done. It seems you know her well. Of course. I know everyone here. Hmm. On Penacony, anyone could be lying. But the remembrance does not lie. Honestly, fair. So I feel the need to clarify with everyone. Miss Sparkle's tricks can induce hallucinations. But that strange dreamscape? Nothing to do with her. It originated from Penacony itself. Penacony itself? Have you not sensed it yet? Hmm. This apparent land of dreams. It's a carefully designed dream maintained by the family through unknown means. And the memory zone she fell into. That's the true dreamscape. Chaotic, dangerous, memory zone enigmatic. meme. A beast of memory dwells in the ever-shifting labyrinth. Hmm. She's right. Everyone, do you all still remember your surroundings during your entry into the dreamscape? Yes. Clocks. Huh. So everyone saw the same thing? Oh, well, like everything, I guess. I remember... Well, it was a room. And then through a mirror. I came to a long hallway. The gallery of thoughts. Mm -hmm. That's how the hotel staff referred to it. Have you noticed? These landscapes seem quite distinct from that of Penacone's in your dream, yet strikingly similar to the dreamscape described by Miss Black Swan. That is true. You're right. I didn't give it much thought at first, but Me either. in hindsight, the overlap is hard to ignore. Also, after speaking to some of the frequenters, the first stop when you enter the dream is supposed to be the hotel in the dream. But due to certain incidents, the hotel is now under renovation. What could possibly have to happen to an entire building for it to require renovation? Combine that with what she just experienced, and the answer is clear. Destruction, annihilation... Tanakani's <laughs> dream is sinking right now. Turning back to its original form and falling into the deep sea. Sinking? Hmm. You mean the dreamscape is collapsing? The encounter at the dreamscape hotel was a sign. I see. That would explain the uneasiness we've sensed from the family. Leaving aside the question of guest safety, were this to become public, it would... It would tarnish the name of the planet of festivities. Yeah, it would. With the Charmony Festival around the corner, it's no wonder they'd want to keep it under wraps. Even the guest's safety cannot be assured now. Isn't the monster that she encountered indisputable proof? Need I remind you that it is a memory zone meme? How could a meme that heralds death and murder appear in a dream that the family proclaims to uh, be absolutely safe? Twitter? Everyone could be lying on Penacone. Does that include the family as well? Miss Black Swan, 
We fully understand our current predicament now. Going back to your original suggestion, for what reason has the Garden of Recollection chosen to work with the Astral Express? Hmm. Let me rephrase, then. This is my personal request, not the Garden of Recollections. Okay. And the answer is simple. Miss Himiko, I simply wish to make an exchange related to the Remembrance. Apart from my duty, I also have some personal pursuits in aesthetics. In aesthetics? I am a memo keeper and a collector. I too yearn to experience those luminous, dazzling, cherished memories. That's simple enough to understand, no? As for you all, nameless of the Astral Express and practitioners of the Trailblaze, I have faith in your potential as well as in the unique splendor you will unleash huh. on stage. This is why I wish to befriend all of you. <laughs> A place where nightmares and sweet dreams intersect. The perfect cradle for the remembrance. I understand. Yeah. But before replying, oh God. we must first discuss among this us. among ourselves. Among us. Naturally. Take your time. Thanks. Oh, God. Uh... How do you see things, Himiko? It's best to be skeptical of her. I agree, but... There's a significant amount of intentional misdirection in her words. I feel like it's good to be skeptical of everybody here. I worry about the worst outcome. If the Dreamscape's anomaly really exists, and it isn't a natural occurrence, but instigated by someone behind the scenes... Hmm... Then it likely has something to do with the Watchmaker's invite. Mm -hmm. Huh. How'd you figure that one out? Well, uh, excluding any extreme scenarios, the mastermind responsible for these shifts in the dreamscape undeniably stands against the family, which narrows it down to two possibilities. Someone is drawing in external influences to distract and disrupt the family's control over Panacone. Okay. Either that, or the family has been forced to seek outside aid surreptitiously for self-preservation. Well's voice actor doesn't seem to match well. I disagree. I think it does very well. But from the encrypted message well. on the invite and the family's reaction, the former is more likely. Which also means that the one who sent out the encrypted nameless message and the mastermind behind the anomaly are on the same side. Hmm. Maybe even the same person. Oh no. Well, this doesn't necessarily mean a thing, right? In terms of methods, both the fools and the Riddlers could pull it off. Uh, hasn't the IPC cracked the message too? <sighs> March, calm down. It's just a possibility. But if this encrypted message isn't some harmless prank, but done so to invite the Trailblaze into the fray, we cannot remain uninvolved. Well, let me tell you what I discovered, and I'm sorry. It's bad news. According to oh, reliable God. sources, some people spotted a tall silver armored man on Panacone. I've reached out to the Bloodhound family for news and visited many of those guests who This could have been the tall gray haired person as well. And this is oh, what I received. Sam. I've sent it to you. Open it and take a look. Hmm. Can you hear me? Astral Express. Oh, no, it is Sam. It is Sam. It's it's that hacker girl. Yeah. We'll get straight to the point. I know you've been investigating the abnormal She sounds so different here. surrounding Panacone. Or rather, we are pleased to see that you've been doing that because the deeper you delve, the closer you'll get to uncovering the truth about this so-called beautiful dream. The family is obviously hiding something, right? Well, we've now to some valuable information, and out of the goodness of my heart, I've decided to share it with all of you. Hmm. Although it unfortunately means your idyllic break in paradise is nearing its end. I doubt that. A string of code into your dream pool. The device you used to dream with. And oh, dive into God. The for a look. Also, I take it you've already heard about Sam? Yes. You should look forward to the meeting. He's a straight shooter who values a fair fight. <laughs> I 
think you'll get along with him just fine. Oh dear god, we're gonna have to fight this motherfucker, aren't we? Oh, he had me relay a message to you. <clears throat> the curtains have just risen over the dream that can't be reached. <laughs> the various factions have started to move. I wish you luck. Don't fall behind. Damn. Those Stellaron hunters, they even factored Peniconi into their plan. Nowhere safe from them. The situation is clear. Okay. The planet of festivities isn't what it seems on the surface. No, not at all. Everyone's sights, including the factions in the family, are set on the Watchmaker's legacy. Every party has its own motives, and they're attempting to thwart each other. While we still don't know what this legacy entails, it's only a matter of time before the power struggle ensnares innocent bystanders. The Molten Knight, Sam, is reportedly a remnant of Clamont's Knight. Cavalry, That's kind of a sick. genetically engineered warrior. He possesses superhuman perception and acts decisively. He'll leave no margin for error. This individual is every bit as dangerous as Kafka and Blade. Damn. This message is a threat. The hidden map that Silverwolf mentioned is probably the sealed Dreamscape Hotel. Uh, should we inform the family? Maybe on amicable terms, but that doesn't mean they trust us. Let's act first and talk later. If the Small idea. Asks, just tell them that the Express is investigating the Stellaron Hunters. I'm sure they'll understand. We'll plan our next move according to how they react. Then we are in agreement. Let's return and inform Black Swan. Okay, all right, let's go. Miss Black Swan, the Express is willing to cooperate with you. We need a proper guide to navigate the memory zone. We I'm do. I'm at your service. You two, return to your own rooms. Enter the dream, and if everything goes without a hitch, we'll see one another at the Dreamscape Hotel's lobby. I'll stay in the real world to ensure everyone's safety. Okay. If needed, I will also parlay with the family. That should be Assuming fine. There's no problem, Miss Black Swan. It seems that I'll have a hard time gaining your trust, even if I personally did rescue your friends. <laughs> it's no problem, of course, other than the fact that my feelings are a little hurt. Counting <laughs> on you, Welt. As for us, let's get ready to see the Dreamscape's true visage. Okay. I've been busy for a while. I wonder I'm if down. Fireflies return to reality yet. I wonder if she snapped back to reality. Oh, there goes Gret. I don't have her contact info. I'll if he's in my room one. again. Oh, well, this is even better. You look Yo. anxious. I'm not. Worried about that girl? You oh, yeah, I am. talk to me if you've something on your mind. In this world, there's no one who heals the heart better than a memo keeper. Nah, because it's all fake shit. Uh, I'm only bothered about this Don't one. Don't worry. That is a one-way door leading to awakened reality. Unless that girl is so stubborn that she refuses to wake up from the dream, which isn't possible. Mm. She must be holed up somewhere in the hotel massaging her eyes right now. Okay, that's all, all for right. now. For now. Welcome to Penaconi, honored guest. Uh, lie down in the dream pool. Oh, God. Oh dear God, dude. I want to see the true dreamscape. Back in this familiar room. Oh, this for God's way, sake. Darling. I... What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? I'm feeling fine. <laughs> That's good then. I know you're more sensitive to memoria. Thus, more easily affected by the dreamscape than others. This is also why I have to accompany you. I shall use my methods to relieve you. Don't worry, as your companions are safe. I had both of them each give me a trinket before I entered the dream. Okay. This will allow me to feel their presence in the memory zone. They're already awake in their rooms. Will you be comfortable in following me now? Yes. March's room is this way. I should go meet up with her. Is this gonna be a black swan? Damn it, it's not. Oh well. I'm sure we'll find one eventually. Your memories tell you this is March's room. Unless fate intervenes, she will awaken here. March. It's me. 
I know what you're thinking, but alas, that girl isn't in there. Wait, it's not and neither her. Neither is this her room. The moment you stepped into the memory zone, reality's building structures lost all meaning. Huh? I can sense that she is in a faraway place right now. In the meantime, if we want to find that lobby the navigator mentioned, we'll have to try a little harder. Oh. These poor little things stumbling about. <laughs> Strange. There appears to be someone else's presence here. I don't like the sound of that. As long as it's not a venturine. Her. How is this possible? It's Acheron. I like Acheron. No staff members here at all? I'm here. Huh? What are you doing here? Uh, you know each other? Yes. She's the memo keeper I mentioned. Oh, yeah, of we'll course. We'll have to cut the banter short. Let's first work together and remove these overly friendly children, shall we? I'm oh, dear God. I'm indebted to you both for your help. I don't want to fight anymore. Repay. Cut damn. Oh, well, fuck it. Oh, damn, the damage over time is fucking huge. Jesus Christ. Okay. Finally, some peace and quiet. Jesus. What are the two of you doing here? We could uh, ask you the know. same thing. It's probably not as complicated as it sounds. <sighs> it's all thanks to a masked fool. Maybe I unwittingly hurt her. And then in a flash of kaleidoscopic light, same. I ended up here. You... Aren't hiding anything, are you? Hiding? <laughs> I don't think I'd be capable of that in front of a memo keeper. Uh, I can. Is that so? <laughs> You're good then. <laughs> what sort of training did you have to undergo? I didn't. She's kidding. She can't do it. Your arrival is timely. <laughs> this dreamscape is fraught with danger. Since our destination is the same, how about we join forces? I'm down. I can protect you from harm. But in the memory zone, I'll need assistance from the memo keeper as well. And if we run into the family, it wouldn't hurt to have one more person to explain the situation. Hmm. What do you think? Uh, yes. Thank you. I'm truly grateful. Glad to be traveling with you again, Miss Black Swan. Hmm. I truly hope so. Hmm. I smell something fishy. I didn't mean to collect that. I would just want to collect my sticker, which is lost. We've arrived. There's an elevator here, just like in the lobby. We should be able to reach our destination with it. Oh, what the fuck is this? But the memory zone up ahead appears to be severely twisted. Be careful, everyone. Oh, nice. Cavern of Corrosion. Wait, is that the artifact one? Yes, nice. Okay, we got that for later then. Humongous. See, I told you it wasn't going to be that simple. Where is this? Don't know. Looks cool though. Is that a locked door? <sighs> this door is locked too. There's no end to this. Let me try. You see the memo keeper close her eyes. She searched the room in an almost telepathic way. Every nook and cranny this outside the room. This memory zone is overly twisted. I have to use an elegant method. So you two... Please, give me a little time. Hmm. hmm. Got it. I can see the core of this dreamscape. And there are members of the family. What the hell? And some figures trying to find their way forward. It appears that your friends aren't faring too well. One, two, three, wait, three. Oh no. There's a third person seeking It's either a way Sparkle or Aventurine, surely. Wait. It's the girl who was with you. Oh fuck. It eludes me, but there is a known semblance in the memory zone, mirroring the essence she radiates. What reason does she have to delve so deep into the dreamscape? Dude, suspicious. She, is she running? No. Running away? Oh no. Something's right behind her. This is not good. Everyone, we must hurry. See, this is where I kind of wish no time. she would have been a bit more- I'll just have to break the rules and use some methods to help you phase through the memory zone. Honest with us. What? I Wait. I picked up slivers of her thoughts in the memory zone. 
These will help you form an impression of her. Wait, no, that's great. That's what must lost. hang on to these thoughts with all your might and shape them in your mind. I caught some very familiar memories. Just hurry through here. Okay. Uh, I'm concerned. The gate shuts, your thoughts stirred by the swirling current and pulled along, uh, descend into the deep abyss sinking. When the hatch opens, what sights will you behold? Perhaps no one can provide an answer. An indescribable fluid, darkness, flows from your chest to your throat. Suffocation engulfs you from within. In my dream, I saw scorched earth and a new sapling emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun and whispered to me, Why do people choose to sleep? I think... The final sigh escapes, its origin unknown. It's because they're afraid to awaken from the dream. Watch out. What the A dangerous fuck? presence lurks nearby. Fucking Everyone, scared me. be on your guard. Dangerous presence? <gasps> it's the bird! Okay, that one's already like saved though, and so is that. There's one behind there. I'm not getting sidetracked. I refuse. She's here. Hey. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, that you again. You... You alright? What just happened? Look at me. Calm down. Deep breaths. All right? Uh-huh. Allow me. Relax. You'll be fine. Are you hypnotizing me? I... Did you just clocky me? Oh my god, you just fucking clockied me. I'm fu that was too sudden. This is a problem. If that was actually a playable, uh, like a a, a a a character death, dude. Same with Ting Yun. Why is it all happening so suddenly and there's no build up and there's no, huh? What's going on? I'm really sorry, but I have to leave for a short while. Death still hovers about. And I must personally ensure Miss Himiko and Miss March 7th safety and warn them. I'll leave her to you, <sighs> Miss Acheron. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm sorry for what happened. I was too focused on that girl and got sloppy. It was my hesitation that caused her to lose her life. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's not your f I'm not gonna guilt trip her. It's not your fault. It, absolutely fucking not. But if in that moment, I chose to draw my blade. <sighs> yeah, things could have been different. But it doesn't mean it's your fault. Sorry, I... I had no choice. What does that mean? The priority is figuring out what happened. Oh, man! Yes, I will. But not yet. Before the hunt, we should keep our eyes peeled and consider where the true enemies are hiding and how to fight them. Do not let pain dictate your thoughts. Compose yourself and you will walk the right path. Once, someone said to me, no compassion for the enemy, for that is cruelty upon yourself. But you must see clearly who the true enemy is. 
Hmm. And then, with one swing of your blade, you must understand its meaning and the price you pay. Damn. This is the only advice I have for you, from someone burdened with a blood debt. Blood debt. Yeah, I was gonna say, we've never seen a draw a blade before, ever. I'm back. Miss Himiko has something to tell you. There's good news and bad news. Oh, Jesus Christ. More bad news? The memo keeper hands over a memory bubble, signaling for you to press it against your forehead. You do as instructed, and a bone-chilling coldness pierces your body, which then consolidates into a clear image. You see Himeko and March 7th together, obstructed by the family. Uh, Black Swan stands beside them, unnoticed by the family. I understand the situation now. Please take her and retreat to a safe location. If time allows, you can investigate Firefly's matter first. Meet later at Clocky Statue. Members in the bubble come to an Which end here. Which is why I must undertake Miss Himiko's request and bring both of you back to reality. I'm glad to see that you're fine. Let us reach a safe place before speaking again. Miss Black Swan, do you not intend I to open some yeah. sort of teleporter? Mm, I don't recommend that. Her mental state is unstable. So we have to avoid any rough traversal methods like just now. I think also, she is us, true newbie. We can it's still sad. do more for Miss Firefly, can't we? Some remnants of her presence linger nearby. Seize the chance to etch them into your remembrance before they're gone. If we can start investigating on the way, that'd be good. Let's go. We have oh, sorry. Dude. Could you give me a few more minutes? I um, I have some unfinished business. You watch as Acheron turns away, you remember that it was there that she dissolved into a mere illusion. You see a pause. Lips pursed, eyes downcast. After a moment she hunches down as if gathering something with her hands and rises May again. Death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. Let's go. This way. Follow me. Oh, not the music, dude. Oh. <laughs> I ain't got a cat, dude. Other than pure shock, I barely felt any emotion until picking up that photo. Fuck. I'm also kinda... Not like... Like, like is What's she dead? I, I, I... Why is it getting hot in the Memoria? I don't, I, I, like, I, I don't, I don't... These are all charred remains. They're still smoldering. Oh god. The culprit can't have gotten far. I suppose we can slow down for now then. Mm. The remains of this creature bears narrow and deep insertions with evident traces of charring inflicted by intense burning. A few sp Looks like this monster the is a thermic weapon. Oh, this is probably Sam, dude. The remains of this creature pierced by an unknown weapon reveal inner tissues that have been seemingly evaporated rapidly due to intense heat. Oh, this is Looks definitely like sad. Looks like this monster died of a hyperthermic reaction. But, wait, what the fuck? Why is... Why would Sam be here? I don't know, but they were talking about Sam's fucking... ...fleamy shit earlier. Why is, why is there more than one of you? They're all just burning remembrances. A stark contrast to this deep sea. Also, that Sam was here in the first dream that we had, so... Careful. These traces I don't know why he fresh. wouldn't be here. Our unsought guest isn't far away. It's 100%, Sam. There's no way it's not. The surface of this creature remains to be unremarkable, yet as your hand grazes it, the searing heat... Yeah. A fierce inferno rages within the remains, desperately longing to break free from its confines. For the sake of your safety, it's best to Something's keep your distance. Off. These traces are fresh. Someone just left the scene. Would this person have anything to do with what's happened just now? I cannot reach a conclusion with so few clues. Just listen to your gut. You were the one who said that... The remembrance doesn't lie. 
From the memories of these carcasses, that person was tall and much stronger yeah. than an adult male. A billion percent, it, it, it's was him. clean and crisp. All one strike kills. Yeah. Maybe a mercenary or an assassin. He entered through the door from the lobby and went farther into the hotel. If that's the case, he should have seen everything that happened here. I take back what I said. We have to hurry to that oh, memory God. zone where Miss Firefly's presence was imprinted. Considering what this person can do, if his goal is that place as well, there won't be anything left there. You two this way. Mm -mm. I'll try to create a stable shortcut for you. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. It's getting intense now. You're mesmerized by the wonder I sight before you. It robs you of all your attention. Heavy footsteps drag towards you like moths to a flame. Souls urge you to unburden your walls and step through this formless door. You can't... Shut the fuck up. You're so stupid. Look, this game is ridiculous, leaving dude. the lobby, the structure has become chaotic. Phase <laughs> through that corridor and be careful. Do not alert the meme. Oh, no, not the meme. This is truly a magnificent sight. It's this room, then? Yes. More precisely, it's Something's, right below. It's there. Look, that's... That looks like the thing where the meme came from. Uh, doesn't look like there's a way down. I wouldn't call it a shortcut if there was. Oh, there's one on the left side too, behind my cam. You two may not be able oh, to face your physical structures like memo keepers, but I've got a great idea that will help you safely reach the floor right below this room. Yump. It's really easy. See the chandelier? Next, we want to create some reasonably small movements. Still remember what I taught you? Oh, the yeah. The memoria. Walk up the wall. I get it, I get it. Get close you. to it. Let's wait. I get it, I get it. Go say hello to it. I am very excited to finish the story today. I think we're going to get it done today, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Oh, God. <laughs> we destroyed it. Look, it's common sense and easy, right? Are we jumping down from here? Don't worry. I'll do something about it. Hmm. Let me stack the dream bubbles to give everyone a nice soft landing. Okay. Here we go. Oh god. We landed safely. <laughs> Yo, it's ZZZ. Amazing. It's ZZZ. Anonymous thinking for gifting us up to envy. Without the accompaniment of one. Well. Wouldn't it be lovely if these nosy newcomers found their way back home? Don't make me kill him. Oh, so rainy. Without shield, this ape sucks, but you should be fine. Oh yeah, it's dead. Nice. <laughs> you no like the low food? Oh, I didn't now. like it. Here, how about I show you a little magic trick? Oh, I love magic. Are you ready? Abracadabra. Is that... Firefly? Yes, it's what this room left behind. The memories of her. The slight trembling of the ground. The fleeting reflections on the screen. The flow of memoria. I gathered and reproduced them in fragments. As for the context, we'll need to sort that out a bit. Hurry along now. Recreating memories on this scale takes quite a toll on me. Damn it, dude. Wait, what mentioned. thing is she what thing is she talking about? Thinking of you even in your Oh, absence. the thing that killed her seems probably. Like you two were pretty close. She seems to be sharing her discovery with someone. And it's related to the watchmaker. She has no idea that she'll become a victim. Damn. Yo. Okay. She's thinking of you. Yeah, she, she, are, she seems she, to be. It's okay, it's okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Why did you... This isn't what we agreed on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mega. Blatt, see, I'm not, I'm not going to stop and watch a clip right now. I'm sorry. Maybe after. The door. It won't open. It's a dead end. Based on these fragmented pieces of information, 
Well, they all say different Firefly's things. companion betrayed her halfway and trapped her alone in this room, disappearing without a trace. But why? She mentioned that this transaction involves the Watchmaker, and that often means stepping on many people's toes. They oh, might God. have had their eyes on the legacy, or wanted to silence another who knew too much. Or there could be a deeper secret tucked away in this memory zone. And to hook that elusive prize, one needs the right bait. Do you mean... Firefly? I assume so. This is just the worst case scenario. But think about it. If the mastermind behind all this is nearby, why would he let us look around freely? Unless... There's something it's a trap. else he cares more about and means. Or should I say, is verifying. She had no other way to leave but from the side corridor. Jack, could you go back? It's not it's not a huge deal. Calm down. <laughs> Y'all look like it's the end of the goddamn world, dude. Let's get going. Let's? Is there someone else? Hmm. Fucking overreacting Andes. <laughs> the situation has changed, and it seems that companion has deviated from the original plan. Perhaps, judging from the outcome, this is that person's true intention. So this is just telling us exactly what we just found out in the room. I Who forced her to go that way? And Mecca? What an intriguing statement. It's Sub! Who would have thought? The Bloodhound family I... is pursuing a criminal, a tall male in silver. Who who would have ever thought it would be Sam, dude? I don't know. Surely I didn't say it ten minutes ago. I... The door. People, open. It's a dead end. Based on these fragmented pieces of information, it seems Firefly. She mentioned yeah, they might this. have. Do you mean there's something else? We saw this one. We saw this one. Uh, There's actually a path here. Unpredictable pathways pointing toward a wandering meme. <laughs> she was completely lost in the memory zone. Not the wandering meme, dude. Oh no. Ain't no way. Back in the lobby. She thought she had escaped, uh, but <sighs> What is that? After that, it's the end. Everyone. It seems like someone has been uh, awaiting us. Ready to step into the spotlight now. It is Sam. Stellaron Hunter Sam. Of course it is. <laughs> Jesus. Careful. Oh, he's insane. We're gonna have to fight him. Jealousy Ranger. Oh god. A memo keeper. God, you're so cool. I think we should leave. I the detective game is over. You shouldn't be here. Great. Implementation. <clears throat> Nothing major. Need I teach someone a lesson? Never That's pretty stop. cool. I know when to slow it down. Listen. Let's let's tone down the sitting Once in the back. You are back in the real world, remember to tell everyone. <laughs> About the Stellaron Hunter, who was behind your ultimate departure. Mm. Execution underway. Bro, what the <laughs> fuck? Abyss flower, bloom. Good as new. Repay. Well, that's pretty sick. <laughs> Zero points. <sighs> Probably right. A test. Can you die? If that's the case. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, she drew her blade for the first time. Okay. The dance stage to them, my dear. No, I want to join. Don't take me. I want to watch. At least give me an audience seat. <laughs> Oh, you can what fuck off. Show. I don't like you at all. I don't like well, thank you. Thank you for your efforts, Memo Keeper. Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. 
When I first saw the ranger and the hunter together, my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> I never thought you'd successfully trigger a conflict between the two. As promised. I can't believe we just got I've yoinked out in the best fight all week. You. Our transaction is complete. Wait, you... You bitch. You bitch. I am not a currency. <laughs> Looks like our nameless friend over here is still confused. No, I get it. Let me explain. Annoying ass. In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you. You, you manipulative little shit. What do you mean? From that Speak galaxy plainly. ranger. No. No. Right. Acheron's great. <laughs> I do enjoy seeing that shocked expression of yours. My friend, let's be honest. That woman named Acheron isn't as simple as you thought. Did she say she's a galaxy ranger? Yeah. She's actually an emanator who brings death and finality. Okay, that's cool as shit. I, you think I care? I, I don't care. She was there? Wait, what? <laughs> You're kidding. Oh my, this just got even more interesting. Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know Duke Inferno? Fatora's Ifrit? Uh, I fought him before, did I? Who? Hmm, you don't seem to have heard of him before. He belongs to the Annihilation Gang, so I guess it's normal. And let me... This Duke Inferno is a fire. Is that the guy for the, that's from, guy from one of the trailers, right? He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. Oh yeah, I haven't done that yet. He and his thugs formed Everflame Mansion mm. and viewed Nanook as their savior. In actuality, they were led by this duke to go around burning and looting, practicing the will of destruction. And even the other Annihilation gangs weren't spared. I'm not sure what the family was thinking. Or perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes. But, shockingly, these characters received an invitation. And hmm. why would the Everflame Mansion decline? They harbor fierce intentions, swearing to turn the planet of festivities into a sea of blazing flames. But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? Why? Because what have you done? Ifrit what? Is dead. No, I wanted him to. Oh, now the other trailer makes sense where his card disappeared, and I said I bet he's gonna die, but I really wanted him to become fucking playable. I yeah, it's better than it. Ah. They were eliminated on their way. The assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise, ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. Damn. Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Panacone. Great. Checking Acheron. into the hotel with only a music box. I get it. I get it. Do you it. still need me to continue the story, my friend? God damn it. It was Acheron. That still doesn't Galaxy necessarily Galaxy Rangers mean... come and go like shadows, and there's little communication between them. Her story is almost too perfect. Hmm. If she remains silent, there's no concrete evidence against her. While the IPC can investigate, it'll take some time. So, my friend, the choice is yours now. You can leave this place immediately, without looking back, and forever forsake the chance to get closer to the truth. Or... You can accept my invitation and learn a truth. A truth potent enough to upend everything in Panacone. I need your help. 
so I'll wait. Oh. But not for long. Once you are ready, follow me. As for aligning with me, see the truth first, then decide. Okay. You'll still have time. Acheron is the emanator of a particular eon? Can I really believe venturing? But I don't care choice. if she is. I, I don't care. <laughs> oh, I saw a bird. Uh, doesn't matter. Not getting distracted. My okay, boy, here we go. You look like a small injured animal. Are you still willing to talk to me? Yes. Of course. I'm still willing to be your psychotherapist. Mm, you betrayed me. I admit I made a transaction with that gentleman to bring you before him. But this is also a safe place. He needs you. It's essential if we want to reclaim Panacone. Recognizing his immense potential and the invaluable memories he can help me gather, I opted to join forces with him. In Panacone, everyone may be lying. And yes, that includes me. Hmm. I can't deny this, nor do I seek forgiveness. But do you still remember? I said, I have faith in your potential. And that's not a lie. Hmm. The Garden of Recollection wants to witness the future of the Astral Express trailblazing the cosmos. And as for these memories, I will treasure them. I do not have reasons Same. to hurt any of you. Instead, I will continue to assist you. <laughs> provided you are willing to accept my assistance. I am. Um... Can I trust Aventurine? My take on this might surprise you. In my view, he's a trustworthy individual. Not for any other reason, but because he's an exceptional businessman. In this vast universe, no one values honesty and contracts more oh, than a great. merchant. More contracts. But always be on guard. Particularly when making agreements with him. Scrutinize the details. Beyond the confines of the contract, your rights are off his radar. He'll go to extreme lengths to ensure his advantage. Who do you think is the mastermind? I still believe that Miss Firefly's situation is deeply connected with the Stellaron Hunter, just as too. we speculated. But, as you've heard, Aventurine has his finger pointed at the Galaxy Ranger. I can't fathom why he'd draw that conclusion, but given his access to the IPC's intelligence network, we should seriously consider his perspective. <laughs> Moreover, I believe Miss Acheron is also hiding something. No. In fact, I should say she's hiding everything from us. It was an unexpected I do agree with finding that, from but... an earlier encounter. So Firefly with was hiding shit from us. With regards to the Annihilation Gang, I can also prove that what Aventurine said was the truth. That's why, during this golden soiree, she is the dance's centerpiece. Are you willing to bring me out of the memory why, zone? Of course. But now is not the time. I know you are confused. And sad. Whoever that girl might have been, a living soul, a memory that was meant to last, she simply vanished. Okay, you don't rub like it in. Like the dissolution of bubbles in water. No matter what, I hope you can trust Aventurine. Or rather, trust me and see the truth with your own eyes. Hmm. This can lead us deeper into the secrets behind Panacone. I will protect you. Once I gather more information from him, I'll make sure you're safely returned to your companions. For the truth, and to prevent more unnecessary sacrifices. It is the right choice. You're right, let's go. Later, I'll stay by your side as a memetic entity. A meme? Just in case. Time to set off. God. Ay, ay, ay. Chat, if someone gets banned for what I assume Go is leaks based on what everyone's or saying, and it was a joke, then they can just say it was a joke and not leaks help. in the unban request. Don't don't tell the mods what to do. Obviously, most of us don't look at leaks, so even joke leaks are leaks. Like, we, we don't know what's right or wrong when it comes to leaks. Better to be safe than sorry. Excellent. I knew you would come. By the way, about that memo keeper... Never mind. I won't press the issue further. 
I've said before you can liaise with your companions, or even twist the narrative against me. I'll wholeheartedly embrace it. It signifies your potential. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So, my He said friends, this before, or is this the same voice that was before? please, this way, if you will. Is that, is that a memory, or is that... Oh, right. Oh, God, we're walking. I remember mentioning something after that. What was it again? Let's make it canon. Talk to ah, A familiar hallway. A familiar room. <laughs> I'm faster than you. Do you remember? Last time we met was... This is it. Just beyond this door. Take a deep breath and get ready. Oh, I remember. My friend. <sighs> After that, we played an enjoyable game. Tell me, doesn't this feel eerily familiar? I remember everything now. This was what I told you at that time. Look, friend. Uh-huh. The game has already begun. What game? Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. <gasps> Wait. No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choices. Why is Robin now dead? She get off screened? To Bro, what? Sunday. Uh, was it you? Brother, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. How is your preparation for the performance coming? It's fine. Don't worry. You're not. It's fine. Robin. <laughs> no, no, this is not good. You're the pride of the family. Don't let those unnecessary emotions affect your perfect pitch. Is this Sparkle? I... no. Brother, you seem to be in low spirit. What's happened? Was this Sparkle all along as well? Guest? Yes. I received the report that... death had taken some of them. Perhaps someone was behind it. I'm sorry, I forgot you just came back. You probably wouldn't know about it. Somehow, a nightmare called death has descended upon Panacone, striking indiscriminately, bringing spiritual death to all equally in the utopian dreamscape envisioned by the family. Such sorrowful incidents shouldn't arise. It profoundly undermines the equilibrium and serenity of the dreamscape. How detestable. I can't believe this has happened. Was... someone killed again? Yes. There were two. Oh one my was God. a stowaway. Uh, the other... was you. Oh, he knows! That's enough, fool. Oh. Your deeds have saddened me. Pretty sharp, aren't you? Chicken wing boy. Stop calling him chicken wing boy. The odes of harmony talks about honesty. The words of a fool begins with foolishness and end in treacherous arrogance. Please leave. Their dreamscape doesn't welcome you. Oh, come on, lighten up. Why so serious with all the quotations and references? I'm just curious. Now things have come to this. Is the family still unwilling to fight? I mean, your darling Bro, sister's this is insane. already in the corner, right? Really? <laughs> Don't tell me you're not craving a little vengeance. It's not yet time. When the fated day arrives, I shall mete out justice with unyielding righteousness. Wow, you can endure that much? <gasps> Truly a heart of ice you've got there. <sighs> hey, maybe we could actually get along. How about this? 
I'll stand in for your dear sister at events. <laughs> Surely you don't want the world to hear the Charmony Festival's been called off. Bro, she's fucking crazy. The family has a plan. And do not dishonor my dear sister with your deceitful tongue again, fool. All right, all right. Just putting it out there. If you're ever in a pinch, remember, I've got your back. I mean, who could resist a guy rocking spikes on his wings? <laughs> She's insane. <laughs> There's no need. The Malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze and will soon fall by their own machinations. Should the transgressor fail to turn away from this path, their sword will be honed, their bow strung, causing the malevolence the perpetrator spreads to befall them. Befall? <laughs> and when that time comes, the heathen will realize they are but a mere mortal, doomed to descend into the netherworld. And I... I will join their vanguard to announce this good news to you personally. Watchmaker. Jesus. Oh, he's very angry. Who done it? Oh. <laughs> Bud, what a fucking quest, dude. Holy shit. That's insane. That is insane. Visit her secret base. Where was her secret base again? Oh, no. The observation deck with breathtaking views, you can almost see the entire dream's edge at a glance. It's not easy to place it's not an easy place to find. The person who introduced it to you truly values your friendship by sharing this view. You recall the time spent with that girl, her gentle smile, her graceful steps, and the tears she shed in her last moments before she was murdered by that monster. At that moment, why did she apologize? What was she thinking? If you had reacted faster, would that silly girl not have died? A tinge of sourness wells from the depths of your heart, followed by a flame of anger, intense enough to reduce the strongest metal to ashes. Facing the railings and skyscrapers, you clench your fists. Angry gear. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I'm the sad gear.